Hello and welcome back to the Sports Pits Podcast, episode number two. Uh, just before we start with the uh, with episode number two, we're very excited to actually be here. We couldn't think we couldn't believe we got an episode one out. Imagine episode two, we're over the moon with it. Uh, but like I said before we start, massive massive thank you to everyone who uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, liked the TikTok, liked the Instagram. If you haven't already, make sure you go into the description, give them a like. Um, it you know it's really really appreciated. Helps us, motivates us, keeps us wanting to do this, um, and it just gives us the uh, all the encouragement we need to keep going. But yeah, so a massive, massive thank you to everyone who who did comment, like, subscribe, and all, all that good stuff. Uh, after the first episode, what do you guys think? Um, I feel like we did pretty good, and I really liked the feedback we got. You know, I was getting feedback from work, family, and they honestly wanted more from us. So that's what we're going to give them. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing, and I love it. Look, we were a bit nervous, but it was very well for, for the nerves we had first episode. We've done very well, and it can only go up from here. We got positive feedback. Everyone gave us good feedback, and we have way more to offer, so we will offer the 100% that we can do. It was great. All the feedback we got, we really taken into consideration, right? Like, there's a lot of constructive feedback, like uh, get a third mic in, you know, whatever you guys want, Bad we'll boy. do. It Beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, brand new. Straight out of the box. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, hopefully the sound is a lot better, the sound quality is better this week and um, we just want to continue improving, like we said last week, going as a family, as a group together and just going this as, you know, as much as we can. Okay, at the end of the day, we're just three normal blokes, like I said last week, who love talking about sport and we just ha- love having an audience that will want to join us every week. All right, so uh, let's kick it off with the NRL, round number five That's right. All right, of the NRL. You have the Roosters versus the Eels was the first game on the, uh, Thursday. Mm-hmm. As the Roosters man, I'll give you first round on what this. What a game. I should say, well, yes, exactly. What a game. Parramatta losing. I'm sure us three were happy Best. with that. Very happy. I'm sure Best. a lot it's of never a bad thing. It's never a bad thing. Uh, Mitchell Moses and Gutherson losing. They're second tier to my list other than Literal Mitchell. <laughs> um, but the Roosters, uh, best game they've played this year. 100%. 100%. Um, didn't end the way I like, you know, I feel like we dominated 90% of the game. The score should have been at least 50 nil, or 50 to 6 or something like that. We'll give them a try just for... Yeah, just give them a try. Um, I just feel like the Roosters couldn't finish their chances, but you've got to give it to Parramatta's defence as well, you know. Yeah, big credit. Last second try savers, about four of them, Mitchell Moses and Dylan Brown. Yeah, their cover defence was yeah. on point, on point. And then, like you said, that scoreline, it really... It paints the Eels in a better picture than what the game actually showed because they were by far the second best team that whole game. And to only win by eight, it, yeah, it doesn't show. It does not show how much, how dominant the Roosters were. No, the score doesn't, definitely doesn't reflect on what it should have been, especially the first half. I reckon oh, the first Roosters, half we should have blown Roosters out of the park, yeah. destroyed them, gave them no opportunities. They were breaking that line every, nearly every run they took. It was, it was destruction, but the score really doesn't reflect it. Well, while all that is true, the Roosters are showing potential now. Um, I feel like our middle was out of this world. Jared? Jared. Jared. Um, he's Ag- finding young age again or right. something. Um, he's on the Ashwagandha. Is that something what he's like on? That. I'm something, nothing because of him. He's on something. Um, but the potential's there and we're missing five to six gun players. Uh, yeah, yeah. Angus Crichton, Tupanua. It's about time the Roosters find form. Manu Lodge. Tedesco yes, didn't play. Yes. It's about time Roosters find form because they are, in my opinion, a premiership like a contender yeah, and 100%. could potentially win the Anything top. less than the grand final, whether we win or not, anything less is a loss. Uh, so you With think you think we should, at the so least, the grand me final. Me as a Doggies fan, I think top eight, that's what we should be getting. You're <laughs> saying you have to reach a grand final to be a, a look, positive season, a successful season. Look, how many, uh, however many subscribers we have on all our platforms, I think everyone will agree that on paper, Roosters have the best team sheet. Yeah, I agree. Under that salary sombrero, you, you're definitely... Yeah, look, we're not going to bring that up. We're not getting into that argument. <laughs> yeah, not enough time on this podcast, all right? Yeah, 100%. Best team sheet of the whole comp. Yeah. Definitely. Anything less than a grand final, like I said, is a loss to me. So if we hey, make it and lose... Mm, you'll be happy. It hurts. It hurts, it but, hurts but you made it. You, yeah, you need to, to the be grand final. There. Yeah, we have to be With there. that roster, you have to be Top there. four grand final. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, a lot of play- players missing... A lot of players missing, and uh, Suwali had to go to fullback. Tedesco, we yeah, injured in the second half. Concussion, yeah. was it? Yeah, but look, before we go on, do you, reckon, do you guys reckon that was a send-off as well? Which one? The headshot. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Was that was, that was shoulder 
Not even like to the chin. He hit him in the face. And he lifted off the and ground. And he jumped yeah, off. He lifted yeah. off the ground. Now, I thought I was. I thought he was off. Like, what, what's the, what's going to happen now? You yeah, guys lose. For two weeks. You guys lose to Desco for two weeks, and now whoever plays the uh, the Eels, they get the the luxury of not them not having their first choice winger. Mm. What do the Roosters get? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. He should have been sent off. He should have been sent like, off. Like, even especially if we lost the game, it would have been worse. In, sa- in saying that, Tedesco on on paper may seem like a big loss, but the way Sawali covered for him in that game, I feel like they got nothing to worry about. A hundred percent, man. That kid's I, a freak. I, I love what Trevor Robinson said when they asked him who's going to be play fullback next week. Joey. He no last name, mate. No yeah. last name. <laughs> but who would you put there, Manu or Sawali? Honest opinion. Is Manu, Manu back next week? Yeah. I'd play Manu. Hundred percent fullback. More experience. He's the safer option going off the team list, but performance wise, no, I, I feel like Suwali done his. Yeah, but if we're versing a bottom team. tier team, I'd put Suwali. But because it's the Melbourne Storm as well. Yeah, you've got to go the safer, safer option here. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Oh, no, I think in general, Man is a better player. Oh, at the moment, of course. Yeah, 100%. But you've got to give baby, credit to yeah, Suwali on, on, on the way he played on the weekend. 100%. Like, the kid's 19. Three tries or something. He's 19. He's a freak. The way you put he you got to give him some room and see how he played it. Playing off behind the forwards, he had so much room to play with and he just took advantage. I love that. Give him room. Where isn't he got? going to get any room? In Union. In Union. I can't believe that. Oh, we've got to bring That's that up, That's a big We have to talk about that. Suwali so signing with the ARU for $1.6 million. Look, you got to be stupid not to accept the money. 100%. Of course. I, agree. I don't blame him. Why? Uh, why don't I blame him? Continue first and I'll tell you why. Can I go first? No, you can. You're the Roosters, man. Look, 1.6 million. Mate, I'll leave my family for 1.6 million. <laughs> All right? He's a kid. He, he'll he finish his contract at, what, age 25? Mm. I think he'll well, come How back. long is the contract? Three years. Yeah. Three-year contract. So the World Cup finishes? Hey, yeah, he's contract to play the World Cup. But the bloke's 19. Oh, well, there you go. 22. And I definitely think he'll come back to, to the, the Roosters. Yeah, okay. But that's but where... The demanding of the money he's going to want is going to be through the roof. So good luck to us. You took, you know, that's why I let you go first. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, he'll go there, make the big bucks, and come back. Because whoever plays for the Roosters, let's, let's be honest, doesn't want to leave them. They, they love the club. I feel like there's, there's a lot of brotherhood at the club. Just look what the Chiefs said when it was at Storm Steel. Mm. Still had about 13 games to play. Oh, I just want to leave now and go for the Roosters to win a premiership. Yeah, exactly. So the young gun can go and make his big yeah, bucks and come back and have that brotherhood with the team yeah. again. Yeah, okay. But with that Suwali thing, right? So with Sonny Bill, when he went to Union, he still, he before he left, who did he talk to? Got in contact with, made sure that it's all good. When he comes back, there's a spot for him at the Roosters. Oh, Nick. Nick Politis. Yeah. Suwali never done that. Suwali's management, who's uh, Isaac Moses, I think that's his name. He never got in contact with, uh, with Nick Politis. Suwali never spoke to Nick Politis. That connection isn't there. Mm. That connection isn't there. That's, that's what the reports are saying. Yeah, that's report. but that's why the Roosters yeah. are angry. Like the Roosters, when Sonny Bill left, he didn't get, they didn't get angry. And when he came back, they opened up with welcome arms, man. They yeah, but with Suwali, you'd be stupid to let him go to any other club. If he's come back to the NRL, Politis is going to pick him up. Either. Yeah, I, I agree. You I, won't no, let no, him it's go. It's reports, but he's saying reports. We haven't, like, nothing to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but the Roosters are a club that if you, if you fuck him over, like he's done right now, because they've stuck with him for four years and given him a contract no rugby league player has. No rugby league player can come in and, and ne- renegotiate his contract after every year yeah, of them four years. You can't really be dirty at him because in his contract it says he's allowed to leave. I oh, don't forget that they paid big money for him from the start, from the Rabbits. Yeah. They, they fought for him big before he even debuted for and anyone. That's what I'm saying. But this was always something that might happen. <laughs> so the Roosters took that chance. So you can't really blame Swat. No, no, you can't. No, 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 I don't blame yeah. Suwali, but I think he could have handled it. Yeah, yeah, he he could have handled it a lot better, a lot more professionally. I think the people that he's got behind him... I, I don't blame him. I, it's as his management. The, it's his management. He's a young, he's going to make stupid mistakes. 100%. But he's got to have a management team that know how to deal with a young head and actually deal with the situation properly. 100%. Isaac Moses has been, his manager has been... He's played in, games a lot of people. In the past, yeah, in the past, he's been up to these tricks where, you know, he'll tell a team... The players, like the Mitchell, he's Mitchell Moses' cousin. He's his manager as well. Of course, he yeah. Is. So that's that whole Parramatta saga with Mitchell Moses, where he could have been signed last year, dragged out this long, all because of him. Yeah, he he delayed it like four times. That's what I'm saying. It's all because of yeah, him. No, so no. he's he's not really the best guy to have if you want to keep people in your good books. But he's yeah, the manager that yeah, gets you know the job done. He wants to stay for Parramatta. Just sign it. There's no point of a whole there was saga. No point. Don't try to boost his money. He's not worth more than what Parramatta offered him anyway. Just, just sign the just deal. Just look at him just then on Thursday. Yeah, what did he do? Done nothing. Yeah, all right, he did try savers, but what he else? He disappeared. He disappeared. All right, but before we move on from the Suwali incident, 
who I think is the biggest loser in all of this is the ARU. Right? So Australian Rugby Union, they want to build for the World Cup. Mm. Right? Australian Rugby Union's money isn't as big as the NRL's. Mm. Nowhere near it. Australian Rugby is... Rugby Union's dead. Dead. In, in Australia... Years. In Australia, it's finished. There's nothing... The, the viewership, the crowds... It is such a small sport when it comes to... When you compare it with um, AFL, the NRL, and even English soccer, Premier League, all of that. So much smaller when it comes to viewership. I feel like not even APL, I feel like Australian soccer is Yeah, the, the, the A-League. The, the A-League, A-League gets yeah. more viewers than, than Union. The A-League Union is dead. Union is dead. There's oh, a reason why shocking. it's on Stan Sport. That is true. That's where you watch it, Stan Sport. Right? It used to be Fox Sports. Yeah, it used to be back in the day, but they go, yeah, no yeah, one's watching gone, it. Yeah. Why are we paying these guys to catch Fox it? Fox Sports is not going to waste their money on a sport that's not making them revenue. Okay. So, so the ARU have paid $1.6 million of a small budget to one player. 15 players fielded. Where are they going to get the rest from? Who they gonna, where are they going to get the money? They're saying, oh, they could have taken that $1.6 million, invested into grassroots footy or union, and then watched it go over the next couple of 10, 20 years. Yeah. Instead, Except they put $1.6 million into one player. And Australia's not going to go and win the World Cup. There is no way Australia going to win the yeah, well, Union World close, Cup. Mate. How long has it been I since don't think so, man. One? I don't know. 90s, 90s, 98, I think. Yeah. It was a while ago. I've never, I've never seen it. It's a long, long time ago, but that's that's what I'm saying. They've invested so much money into one player who, like we we all, we're all sitting here thinking, he's come back 100. Yeah, percent surely. Instead of them going and investing it into grassroots rugby union, building them up, pay, pl- players who grew up playing rugby union who want to play rugby union, instead let's give it to someone who jumped ship, played for the NRL. They've done it with Israel Folau. They've done it with Lordi Takiri. They've done it with Wendell Saylor. They've done it so many, Matt Rogers. They've done it all the time. They're bringing in players that aren't there to grow the sport. They're there to grow their bank account and, and get, back, get back yeah, to sport. To they go like. on that, he signed for the Waratahs, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I, can't remember. I don't know. Well, whatever team it is, a new kid, 19-year-old, coming into your team, 1.6 million. How the hell did it, like, how do the others feel? Yeah, and he's going to take one of their spots. Just, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. From, from me looking into it, Suwali, go hard, man. Make your money. Of course, yeah. And you'll always, be, you'll always be welcome back. But at the end of the day, rugby union, I feel like, made a big mistake. All right, so that's the Roosters' Eels uh, wrap-up done. So we've got Raiders and the Panthers. What a game, man. What, like, what a performance. What a dominant performance by the reigning premiers who we've seen. They looked shaky over the past four weeks. That past month of footy, they've looked shaky. The only time they didn't look shaky was when they had the bye. I honestly feel like Raiders are playing teams into form. Well, the, the crazy, they beat the sh- Sharks, too, like, what, three weeks ago? No, Nico Hines as well. Yeah, no Nico Hines, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that is true. Even, even though they lost today, but yeah, completely different team without Nico Hines. But man, the Panthers put that, put it on them. Looked incredible. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. As much as you're gonna not agree with me, Raiders bottom two sides. I feel like they're no, gonna be man, in the no bottom way. two sides. No, no, I feel like I wake can't up see an improvement. Up. I can't see an improvement. They just decline, and they. Decline. I don't think they'll be far off it, but I don't think they're bottom two. I think there's two. Even three good, teams uh, worse yeah. than a man. Uh, there's too many good players in the Raiders team. There is, but they're just not playing together. Well, they're not. And okay, so so and, the and the scariest thing was it, the score was 13-12 at half time. Yeah, seven. Nothing, I think it was yeah. seven tries in the second half. 13-12 at half time. It ended 53-12. That's forty minute, uh, forty points. That's a, a try a, mi- a, a, point, a point a minute. minute. That is That's shocking. Unbelievable, man. That's shocking. A point a minute. And they only answered with one try. The, the, the Raiders scored one try in that second I half. Think, I think for Ricky Stewart, the worst part of all this is not the 40 points in the second half. It's a weak gutted dog at the end. Oh. Yeah, he got him. I loved it. He got him. <laughs> you, want to, you want to sling that word around? Salmon's just going to give it back to you. Nah, he no. got him hard. Yeah. But hey, straight up for, the, for that young guy, I don't know. If you, I don't know him. I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. That's the first time he actually got out and people went, oh, Jaden Salmon. Uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name. Jaden Salmon. Right? Jaden? Jaden. Jaden Salmon. Yeah. Weak gutted dog. And then he comes out, scores that try, gets up, Gives celebrates. It back to Ricky I loved Stewart it. In his face. I loved it. That's what I, I honestly reckon. That. He should have looked at the box and said it to him. He should have pointed. Yeah, we got a dog. He didn't even need to say anything. Just point at him. No, just, just look up. Just yeah. look up. It would have burnt him. Yeah. But yeah, I love that moment. Do you think the widen? Um, that's what I was gonna, has had an effect on them. That's what I was going to talk about next. I, I do. I honestly do believe so. I reckon they that have. That's the. Uh, you don't think it has an effect? Look, it's always going to have some sort of effect, but widen hasn't been. Providing the the skill that he used to back in the day, anyway. Yeah, but before he's one of the leaders of the team. We've got to remember, Dalian medal winner. Yeah, took it's a, always going to have an effect. Don't get me wrong, but his performances I think took so. him to the grand final against the Roosters a few years ago. 
if he doesn't want to be there, don't let it affect him. Just let him go and look elsewhere. Yeah, but it's going to have a domino effect. Yeah. Oh, look. Who wants to play? Look, Who so wants to play from yeah. Canberra? Who wants to be yeah, in it's Canberra? Cold, cold ass shithole. No one wants to be in Canberra. <laughs> Wyden leaves, they go worse. What do the other players think? Players like Tarpany, man. Mm, he's, he's Even Papali, man. Papali's coming towards the end of honest, his career. There you go. I honestly reckon if Tarpany wants to leave, teams will pick him up in a second. 100%. 100%. I'll take him. So what makes you think he's not going to leave, you know? He can get 800 to a million if he wanted and to. And get out of the shithole capital and of Australia. Should, Dolphins will give it to him. 100%. Oh, so that's who, that's who Wyden wants to go to, apparently. Oh, that, that's the reports. The Dolphins have come in and asked, him, asked for him. Oh, they'll take him easy. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they've come in and asked for him. But I think as a Raiders, if I was a Raiders fan, I will be Devastated. spewing me. Yeah. Honestly, like, you've put so much investment into this young kid who has, has had a lot of off-field, off excuse me, yeah, 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 a lot of off-field problems. Stay, yeah. And they, they stuck with him, and then that's how he repays him. I reckon it's going to have a massive effect on him, and it's going to... it's. The spiral starts, man. I, I don't like, think... I feel like he's not enjoying his, his time there, to be honest. The way he's playing does not project that he's happy there. Yeah, but before this story broke, that's the week before that was when they beat Sharks. Sharks. Yeah. So uh, wasn't it the week after they lost? So it came out, it came out last week, right after, I think on the Monday. Uh, yeah, what about last it was week. suspension or something. <laughs> suspended or something. Injured or suspended right now? No, he's suspended right now. For uh, the yeah, so it's the game he got suspended, that week he did. Yeah, when right. he got simbined, yeah. All right, so, but yeah, so... I think it's going to have a massive effect on them. Yeah. I don't think they're going to finish bottom two. I, I honestly, like, bottom four. the Knights are going well for what they have, but I don't see it going long. And we know who's getting a spoon. Well, there's no I was telling my wife. Well, you like, reckon there's no, well, no debate? No, Tigers? No debate. Hey, they have the team to, like, pull up. They yeah, do. but the, bro, we'll, get to them, we'll, we'll get to them soon because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to the Tigers. Yeah. A lot of things are broken. But we'll get there. Like, I was driving home and I was telling my wife, I'm like, I mean, it was crazy, like, they're not real so unpredictable this year. I love very, it. Very I love unpredictable. it. I'm like, I'm like, she goes, seriously? I'm like, yeah, like, it's, it's so fun to watch now. Like, it's, it's getting good again. Like, except for the Tigers. Like, we know every week they play, they're going to lose. <laughs> and it's true, but every week they play, they're going to lose. Like, who do you see them beating? Honestly, I'm looking at their draw. I was telling no, you. Like you said, we'll get to the Tigers when we get there. I think, because oh. if we start talking about Tigers yeah, now. Yeah, we'll continue on. We're, I, we're, we're wrapping up the show for the yeah, Tigers. Yeah, no, yeah. We'll get into our next game. So, the third game, which was the 8 o'clock Friday kickoff, the prime time game, Rabbitohs, Melbourne. Oh, semi-final footy again. Yeah, it was a very good game. What a game. Hey, Rabbitohs have a really hard run to they start do. the season, they eh? They do. Oh, you know what? I thought Rabbitohs would take, take that win. Yeah, I tipped the Rabbitohs as well. I think we all tipped Rabbitohs. Yeah, I think we all tipped Rabbitohs, but I got one word. One word. Munster. No, I've got one word. Latrell Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always two goes, words. Always goes no, missing. I know it looks like I'm picking on him. I know it does. People at work and everything, I always talk crap about him. Please, so did you not see how lazy this guy is? When the, when the Rabbitohs lost, I went on TikTok, whatever, everyone was talking about how lazy he was. He's very lazy. Right. He has it's been very bad. Very lazy. It's very bad. And, and it's not like he's trying to hide it anymore. He just doesn't, he's just not showing up for 60, 70 minutes of the game. Uh, well, I think that game showed how lazy he is. Usually, like you said, we spoke about this last week. Last 10 minutes, he actually showed up and did something. He yeah. actually did nothing. nothing. Yeah, he done nothing. nothing. He actually done nothing. Him against against the weaker teams, the teams that you're supposed to be, he steps up. He steps up and plays <coughs> like he's. You look at him and go, "Wow, like what a superstar!" But the past two weeks, man, he's actually gone missing. He's gone in his shell. What's going on? He's, when they came, when I watched the Melbourne game, I had you in my head, going lazy, lazy, lazy. Pull up or move to the centers. Honestly, just move. How are you going to? You can't play in the centers, the truth, man. Brother. You can't. When you speak the truth, you can't cop hate. He's been lazy. You can't you can't leave him at fullback much longer. It's gonna you can't you can't move him to the centers, man. You cannot move Look, him to the centers. You gotta find a way. You gotta find a way to try to get him more, more involved. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him what? completely. No, uh, but he's not what? playing that bad. Uh, would you do? Would you do what Tur Turbo did for um, the Blues? Play him center, but he can roam. No, that's different. It's completely different. They don't have who they're gonna play fullback. Taff. No, you're right. Who are they gonna play fullback? They should have kept Portland. Well, they got to they got to pull him up. Do you remember the last game he played for him? Seven drop balls. Or yeah, do you remember the last game he played for us? Yeah, he killed it. That's right. Well, someone's got to pull him up, put him to the side, and, and give him a conversation. They got to See, talk to that's him. what I, like I spe I say this to a lot of South supporters as well. The Roosters had Rabbitohs in check. You know, he wasn't media like media jumping. You know, doing all these stupid things, and his behaviour. When he started acting up, Trent Robinson dropped him. Yeah. 
The next week he brought him back. He scored three tries. That's yeah, what but he's don't missing. compare. That is what he's missing. That's what I'm saying. There's at the Rabbitohs, there's no the discipline for him. Dimitri and Robinson, don't, yeah. they're not comparing. I feel like Lachaud, go do whatever you want. <coughs> Just win us games or something. There's yeah. discipline at the Roosters yeah. that he is lacking at the Rabbitohs. I feel like the Rabbitohs, they love him that much that he's like a golden child. Go do whatever you want to do. Yeah, and we're gonna have, we're gonna keep you. You can't do that. You're paying him big big money. You gotta you gotta get him to perform on that big money level. Well, I don't know if it's Dimitri or the coach, because like I feel like Latrell Fury's coach, he has to be man managed. Like you have to walk up to him, put your arm around him, and constantly be there for him. Yeah, I, I don't know if Dimitri is doing that, but if you, if you do that to Latrell, man, he has the potential. Of course, you he, need a he honestly we, does. We've, all seen his we've seen it exactly. He's a back to back premiership winner with us. We're exactly. not denying he could be one of the top two, three, four. But drop in moving the game. him out of fullback, no way. You cannot move. I'm him saying out of right now with his current form, you can't. You got to get around him, tell him listen, get more involved. Even if you're just going to get up and just play. Pass the ball. You don't have to run every time. Pass the ball. He's not even getting the ball and passing it, man. He's, yeah, he doesn't get involved in That's plays. what I'm saying. He doesn't, he doesn't get nothing. involved. He does nothing. You know, like, for example, when they put a bomb, for example, he just he sits back. I reckon he'll outjump anyone. Oh, right, there, was, there was, a, there was a, a point in that game where he, they bombed to him. He caught it and he jogged into the line and just dropped. The score was 18-10. I'm telling you, there's it's no nurturing there. The minutes, if I'm a rabbit supporter, I'm screaming at my TV. Yeah, because the potential this guy has. But you are. I looked at him like this is so lazy. Flip it on its head with 100%. one run. Yeah, hundred percent. But yeah. he, like, it's. I don't know what it is. I don't know if his head's in the right place. But the past two weeks has really come out. It's like. No, look, it's I reckon his head is in the right place. But all this media stuff, get off. Yeah, yeah. Focus yeah. on yourself again. But didn't he do this last year as well? And then towards the back year of the back end of the season, he started firing up again. I think he's a he's a big not, game not player. To, I don't think not to this point. He's, lo- he's lost no, but this most year of his big games. Not, not a big game player, a purpose player. So when the, there's a purpose to win, he's going to come out and win it. But when no, there's but nothing this game, behind the it... The Storm game was, was ready to go. It's two points, but they one, more, two, one more do you need? They've only won two out of five now. Uh, they've lost to Roosters. They've lost to Roosters. Storm. Penrith. Did they lose to Penrith? No, I think they beat him because um, Eli- Elias... Yeah, they beat Penrith. I can't remember who else. They might have won three. Yeah. If he keeps his form against the big teams, you're falling out of the top eight. Good luck getting back in. Yeah, it's... it's, it's these, are the games, these are the games you have to try and win. And, and the competition has not been a walk in the park. Man, look at the Knights. The no. Knights are hiding inside the top eight. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about them after. So let's go. Let's go back to that game, Rabideau Storm. Yeah, sorry, yep. Cameron Munster. He... Showed how much of a key player he is. Bro, Cameron Munster, honestly. We you don't need to say much. We said it all last week. Mount Munster is elite level. The guy's a freak. Like, if you, if you, like, there's, I reckon back in the day, like, when, when we grew up watching rugby league, they, were, they weren't as good as they are now, skill-wise, mm. but they were so much tougher. I feel like Munster, Munster can slot into that, t- into that era and kill it. Yeah, yeah there's not a lot of players like that. No, now. there's not. No. I can't think of anyone that, with that toughness. People like Munster and Jerry Hargis. Well, what more do you need to say when... This guy is carrying his... his it's talking about the Roosters. It's got nothing to do with the Roosters. That was a Jared Rehagri. Sorry about him and Rehagri. Continue, continue. He was, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, what more <laughs> do you need to say when this bloke can slot into that Melbourne team and carry him? Slot into the Queensland team and carry him. Carry him, yeah, 100%. Queensland He's, team, you, you can't deny that they're good. I know New South Wales have a better team on paper. Yeah, but... But Munster is that difference. Munster, in, in Munster and Fittler. They're oh, the difference. Fittler, when honestly, you have an idiot yeah. coaching, I love Freddie Fittler. Yeah. I love him. But what are you doing? Coaching, bro, please. You All he should be doing on the microphone, put him on the sideline. Not in the commentary box. Just go to him like, once, a, once, a, once a game. Get a little bit of a laugh out of him. That's it. Oh, Freddie, how's the weather down there? Little. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, sweet. See <laughs> we'll, you later. We'll get off the origin real quick. But I just want to say, me and you, the convo we had, I had, some, had it with someone at work as well. How Queensland pick an origin team. It's just yeah. origin players. Yeah, they do. Hot headed, just want to play. They do. They have that rough. Fila picks players on name and form. Yeah, and who plays for the Panthers? And who plays for the Panthers? Jake and Cleary. Roosters. Panthers and Roosters. Yeah, but Cleary, Cleary, who's your mate? Mm. Oh, you don't like what's his name? The guy who got dropped last year. Regan Campbell got. Oh, you don't like him? See you later, gone. Oh, uh, Burnham's in form now. We can't get him. Yeah, Cleary, Cleary like, wants Luai. How did he drop out of a car? Yeah, that, <laughs> uncalled Super for. Super had the shittest game of his life. Uncalled for. Right, we'll get off the blues. We'll get off. Anyway, so yeah, so the storm with Munster, what a performance from Munster, man! Carried him hard, uh, being the Rabbitohs. Next week's but he's got Jerome Hughes back as well against the Roosters. It's gonna be that's gonna be a very good good game. That's that's another semi final clash. It's gonna be a very good game. So we move on to the Manly Sea Eagles versus the Newcastle Knights. (laughs) Who wants to start with this one? I'm gonna start by saying Lachlan Miller stuffed up my super coach from that first try that Manly scored. What was what's he doing on a dead ball line? 
He didn't it was know, so far back. He yeah. thought he was in the middle of the field, something, because he's jogging back. It's either that or he's scared to tackle, I don't know how to say his name, Olakowatu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If there was five well, more metres, he's ending up in the first row of the crowd. He's running that far back. Hey, if Why? he just rushes up on him and he passes the turbo, I'll probably win my Super Coach game. Not even past the turbo. <laughs> Attempt that tackle. Why are you running backwards? He had no idea. He started running backwards. I don't think he knew where he was. Honestly, then. He started running backwards. I don't think he knew where he was. Rugby league is rugby league. You don't he's run a union, and bro, a, He's give, a union player. It doesn't okay, matter. You're sense. standing with the goalpost. He's, he's a union player. He's a, you know, union players. They've got small brains. So. <laughs> I'm not saying it. That's anyway. debatable. All right. No, they do. 100%. It's, uh, it's one That was a good improve. game. I, 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 no, that was a good game. But didn't mainly come out firing it? Were they not pumping it? The difference to this game. One player, literally, Olokowatu. Get Sinbin, two yeah, tries get two scored. two tries, that's right. All right. He Mash, gave away that stupid man. yeah. On their trial line in the last two minutes. Runs up to... Um, a, Who uh, was it? The, uh, what do you call him? Not dummy half, that's for the attack. Okay. The marker. The marker. marker. He runs yeah, the marker, just grabs him, pulls him. Grabs him and pushes that him for no the reason. Thing they I've get a penalty, seen. they go down they and score. score. He had no reason to... No, he didn't even push him. He blocked, pulled him to the... Yeah, no, he, he, he grabbed him and pulled him for no reason. I've not... I think it's because he got annoyed because... I can't remember who the player was, but he was he had his hand around the manly player that was on the floor's throat. But the way he grabbed him and just ran, ragdolled him, what do you think was going to happen? Hey, they look, they look, win the game if that doesn't happen. Yeah, because they that don't get that opportunity. That was a cold moment because he had some big moments in that game and then he had that moment in hey, that first, game. First 20, 10 or 15 minutes, he killed him. Yeah, he's a gun. And he scored. He's a, he's a he's very scored. good player. And, and then he but does he, that to lose them headed. the game. He, he's very they drew the game. They drew the game, yeah. He's the reason they drew. And he gets two points for the game. But 64 points in that game, 32 all. The defence was hey, these out teams the window. Are not giving up, but... Oh, bro, Dominic Newcastle. Young. Dominic gets, dropped, gets dropped one week, next week comes scores four tries. But the only reason he came back was because the... Um, the got injured. Yeah, injured. got injured. Yeah, comes back and... Puts him in four that. tries. Uh, how fast? <laughs> yeah, he's a rocker. He's he made Gary look like a snail. Bro, the way... Bro, that, he picks it up in the centre of the field. He picked it up... He, Whose tries that remind you of? The way he just runs around? Yeah. Bro, it reminded me, not of someone's try, but... James Roberts. Rugby League won. <laughs> Rugby League won. Remember the game, the where, game? You, I mean, yeah. where, you, where you run backwards yeah. and everyone gets in a straight uh, line? James Roberts did it to the Roosters, if you remember. Oh, yeah, where he just when ran, he ran around. around Latrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is hey, just quick. But Garrick is like... He's fast. Yeah, but like or with Latrell, he's he like... fast people look not fast. Yeah, exactly. He's a rocket man. He is. But he still has no hands. The question is, does the coach put him in next week? Yeah, 100%. No, no, no Homer Hunt's back. <laughs> hey, like that Marzuz... He's a gun. He's good. Yeah, he's a very good player. Reminds me of Matt Utah, man. I was listening to the radio. They kept calling him the Beast. I was like, like you've never seen him? Uh, like, I've seen him, but why are they calling him the Beast? But you watch him. Yeah, he's a it freak. Takes like four people to touch him. He reminds me of Matt Utai. His quads are like Justin that. Carney things. Eh? Like yes. Vibes, yeah. Justin oh, what a Carney throwback. Vibes. Is that a good one? That's a good one, man. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, but yeah, but big, big quads. Like he's very hard to tackle. Built low to the ground again. Exactly. He reminds me That's exactly, exactly of Matt Utai. Right. Right. Reminds me so much. I, I heard he gets dropped for his defense, and his his defense was lacking. Like no, his defense is bad. Garrick dropped the ball once where he should have scored, yeah. and then he scored. Yeah, and and where was Mars? He was he's hiding inside the field. Yeah, no, he, he's he his decision making in defense yeah, yeah. very bad. But if he can fix that up, yeah, he'll be, be a freak. Yeah, he'll, be, he'll be a really good. Yeah, he'll be a freak. All right, so uh, next one, Dragons Dolphins. Oh mate, the Dragons man. Thirty eight to twelve. Just uh, <laughs> talk to us, bro. Talk to us. As much as I'm happy with the win, I can't be overly happy with the win. Oh well, what? I can't be overly happy with the Dragons hey, right. fan just because they're missing players. They had literally. Uh, you can only beat who's in front of you. You can only beat who's in front of you. That's right. And we did perform well. Don't get me wrong. We played well. Look, listen. If you if you beat them fourteen twelve, it'd be disgusting. I wouldn't be happy with but it. But thirty eight twelve, you absolutely we played well. Them. Blake Laurie doing one. Try scoring machine. Try scoring machine. Was it like six? No, no, no. He's up to no, three now. He's up to three. He's up to three. But last year, last well, Dragons top scorer. Dragons. He's a Dragon top scorer yeah, okay. this year. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think now that Sloan scored that try after oh, him. Yeah, I think yeah. He topped him, but um, twelve. Who? Who's twelve? Where's twelve? With Mr. Zero, hundred fifty games. Uh, yeah, doing nothing. <laughs> I'm happy with with the outcome, but they had too many injuries. I'm hey, still happy. I'll take it. Yeah, but you still and he's defended well, man. And bro, what was crazy is every time he's got the ball. You just looked so threatening. Yeah, you just got, you well, just attacking. Bro, they the thing, looked so scary. Before the season kicked off, everyone wrote us off as wooden spooners. 100% not the case. We have the roster to do damage. But Don't get me wrong, top, not, not top eight, like deep into the top eight, but we have the roster to scrape into the top eight if we pull up. Ben Hunt alone will, will get you halfway there. You just need the other players to perform with him. I feel like if you lose Hunt, 
the team's done. Yeah, if, if Hunt um, is any injuries, like origin, I reckon for Origin, you're losing the three games. It's, they'll get, they'll play one game in the Origin period. Are they? Yeah, what the other one? Because one of them will be a buy, one of them will be the round off. Everyone gets a buy. Yeah, that Sunday game that they're doing now. And they'll play the one game. I forgot. About the, I hate this buy. Yeah, I can't stand it as well. But yeah, so the. It, it, I agree. Ben Hunt out of the Dragons team. One injury. I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah, one injury is done. The Dragons are done. Hundred percent. He carries that team. Is a monster esque top player. He's he's, he's, he's very good. Monster. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. He's Not very bad. good. Not good wording. He's he's very good. I'm, just, a, I'm, I'm putting him in the category of the where player monster that carries the team. He team, carries. Yeah, he's carrying as well. Well, it doesn't really because our team is fucking. Who the Dragons are this week? The issue the Titans. We beat him around two weeks. They beat him around two. Big David Fafita, right? He's a kid to me, but let's see. Like man, like <laughs> it's uh, they've the, the dragons haven't won two games in a row. Yeah, huh, this no, season, no. no. Oh, so we'll, we'll, if you count the boy, don't count the boy. Okay, so he's had the boy round. Oh, he's one, beat round. the boy. Oh, we beat yeah, the boy. Yeah, it was a close game, but they nearly lost. One, so he's got he's he's, he's one round two. Yeah, lost, lost two games where we were in it in the first half. Oh yes, no, that's right. Broncos, and then just got mopped in the second well, half. Well, against the Broncos, we were in it for like 72 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 72 minutes. And then four unanswered tries within five fucking minutes. It's, I'm not going to go back there because I'll start crying. Yeah, and, and then the Sharks, same thing. And then the Sharks, Nico Hines is literally... It's Papa Master. Bent us over and put his foot up. Let's just not go there. Yeah. And but yeah, he ragdolled us. He played it, us on a string. Really. So yeah, so you're, what you're looking at as a Dragons fan now is can we get back-to-back wins, start building that momentum? That's the important yeah. thing. You guys got a team. He's beat them already. You know how to beat them. Hey, sometimes all it takes is a win. To be honest, yeah, that's all it takes. Play into form and you start. That's what I feel. I feel like if we get next week in the bag, we could probably start finding some. Go on a bit of a run. Especially we've got a few players back. I know Sullivan's injured, but Amon, I feel like he's. I think he's the it's, it's a, a bit better than than Sullivan. Yeah, he right. runs the line and he actually kicks. He he's got more of an attacking outburst than. Yeah, Sullivan. yeah, he does. He does. So and uh, just on the Dolphins, real quick, Anthony Milford. No. Well, he didn't do much. He was he got injured. That done no, but done nothing. No, no. Done nothing. He was on the field. Absolutely nothing. nothing, and then got injured. I think it was the best thing that happened to him. Because if he stayed on that field, I reckon it's well, where do they go to now? Nikarima, which is also injury. I'd rather Nikarima. A hundred percent. I'd rather Nikarima. I think Katoa's too young to run the team right now, man. Yeah, but you're playing. You, yeah, like you that's play, your half yeah, now. Yeah, but Nikarima. Why well, is Nikarima injured? Or was it just a no, he's yeah. injury riddled, but he's not injured at the he's moment. Not injured at the moment. And, he he and left the field. What happened? He left. Yeah, but he was, he's not. He's not. It's not a long term thing. He didn't play this week. I think he had a. Co- no, he did. did no, no, not this no, week. He, he played play last week. week. Oh, last he split something. Yeah, I think so. Okay. But he has he has the potential to split a game open, and he can control the game. I feel like a little bit. But well, he's got he's got no. experience behind him. I don't yeah. think Dolphins win with him. You need Sullivan. 100%. Sullivan, you watch him. He's controlling everything. Well, like we said, I think we said it last week here, where we said the Dolphins it will drop off, or was it? Yeah, we said that. Yeah, we said once so, Sullivan injured, they're done. Th- this is it. Like, the, I don't see him winning for the next... Until Sullivan comes back. Didn't I say last week they'll lose against the Dragons? It's just a decline from here. Yeah, I feel like did, it's not going to be a big decline. Yeah. But they will lose a few more games until Sullivan gets back. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I agree. They've I lost more players this week as well. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't think... Kafusi was a massive out. And He's still got two more games. Who? The winger. Oh, yes, that's a new. That's a new, yeah, yeah. So it's a... And Hammer was grabbing his shoulder. Yeah, towards the end of the game. Uh, no, he'll be right. So yeah, like, but still, like, see, Wayne no Bennett signed there. good players, but he, he doesn't have depth at there's all. No no, depth. There's, there's no more, depth. There's no depth. If five players get injured, he's done. How hard is it to find depth when you're a new team coming in and you don't have that junior club Very behind hard. you? Yeah. So you can well, the out, Dolphins were the junior club. and then they. Yeah, that. but there's not that much. No one's playing for the Dolphins, really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The bigger bigger teams were signing them because they didn't have a first game. They were a feeder club. Yeah. Why didn't I leave half season, bro? Well, if, if the Raiders continue like this, uh, better off, right, let him go. Is if he leaves half, half season, do they just decline more? Who? If Wyden leaves the Raiders? Raiders yeah. yeah, 100%. They just go if five, he goes they, to, he'll, I reckon he'll suit the Dolphins, man. He will. Because yeah. the Dolphins are a tough playing team. They want to grind. Bro, as Sullivan, much as that, Sullivan, Sullivan and Wyden. And Wyden in the, on the, in, oh, in, what a half pairing. It's a bunch of crazy hard, The whole Dolphins are all a bunch of hard runners. And Wayne yeah, Bennett's not going to put you there unless he knows you're going to. Exactly, 100%. and if he's in, talk, he's in talks with him, he wants him. Hundred yeah. percent. So let's go. Let's go back uh, to the uh, not really the game, but Sully's interview <laughs> during the week. We have to talk about this, no, no. right? Before we talk shit about him, I think it was just a miscommunication. Listen, I reckon it is, but you don't come out and say that. I don't want to. Say no, yeah, he should have thought about it. Media, media just spread like a wildfire. L- but honestly, did you watch the interview? I watched. It. He <laughs> sat there once. It when he answered it, he had a look on his face like. 
This is going to come out tomorrow. No, no, no. He had to look at his face like, fuck, I've done pretty well there. Oh, like, he was proud of himself. This is pretty good. I like, I watch, answered that. I didn't watch the interview. He, honestly, he stood there chest high. He goes, yeah, I didn't want to join him either. And, and then, that's it. And then like, and yeah. Then, like yeah, because you know, I didn't want to come here. Yeah, see, and I, then they're like, alright, thank you, this is sweet. And he starts walking, and he's probably thinking, was like, fuck yeah, like, that was, I killed that. Yeah, so I feel like he was trying to say that I didn't want to leave Manly. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. He came out and he, yeah. he clarified himself. I clarified it. It yeah. was very hard for me to leave. I didn't want to sign here because it meant leaving my, my widowed mum and my family back in Manly, Manly yeah. and I got to go to Wollongong. It's hard. And then that, the young, that young kid that just signed, uh, what's his name? Uh, William Fafida. William Fafida is in a similar situation. Similar situation. situation. So that's what he was trying to say. Well, he's the reason why he signed. Yeah, he's, he, he brought him along. Yeah, he which, spoke so him. it does show that he he has a bit of passion no, no, for the club. No, yeah. If he wants to bring someone there. I yeah. think there was good intentions there. He's never no, good he, intentions. He, he's I've wording. never seen Sule in an interview. Yeah, before. I don't know who, yeah. who put him out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's his first one <laughs> and he buckled. He buckled. <laughs> who sent him out there? Especially after that loss, Haram, man. Yeah, yeah. Send out your captain. Oh, was it right after the loss? It was after the loss, oh, bro. They sad, send out yeah. Sule. Go, bro. Go do your best. Go. Give him a pat on the shoulder. Allah. <laughs> anyway, oh, right. so yeah, I think there was no ill intent behind the no, interview, no, no. but fuck, it was funny, Look, man. Look, when, when it first came out, it didn't clarify himself. Everyone thought, like, fuck, seriously, fuck, this it guy? it was funny. Whoever hasn't watched it, go watch it. It is a fucking good laugh. It <laughs> He's out there. He backs out his own team. I don't blame him. If he didn't want to be there, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be playing. He's playing all right. He's playing person. all right. He's playing all right. All right, so next game. <sighs> Block, where do we start with this? Broncos, Tigers, 46 to 12. Uh, 46, by the way. Like... It, we're lucky it wasn't like 70. Honestly, they're lucky it wasn't like 70. I feel like the media has gone so f- hard for Brooks. He didn't know what to do anymore. He started running at the line. Yeah, did you see <laughs> that? He was running for the sake of... I think, you he, know watched, who I think he watched our podcast. He's like, yeah, maybe I'll try to do something. <laughs> it work out for him. <laughs> he wouldn't stop running at the line. <laughs> Bro, he just... I feel so sorry for him, honestly. No, I'm trying to... I have him, such yeah. a soft spot for the Tigers. Just because of the 2005 grand final, like, all young. I love the Tigers. My mum supports the Tigers. Yeah. I've got a soft spot for them too because she supports them. But it's, as a Tigers, as if I was a Tigers fan, it would be very, very difficult to say that I watch that in our right now. Yeah, no, nah, I, I would fucking swap teams. Honestly, no, the Dolphins I, come in, see you later. Yeah. I honestly think the Tigers, our supporters would have thought they would have been in the Broncos. And I was on, I was on that train, to be honest I was with very you. quick to change my tip because they have not been in the Tigers since 2018 or something like that. Well, there you go. So the Tigers do give them a run every time they verse each other, but this year's Tigers how? have weirdly <laughs> taken a bigger decline than last year's Tigers. Yeah, that, that, that's what players. we were saying last week. We said, how the fuck did they get worse? How do you get worse with the signings you've made? It's fucking Coruscant does not give a fuck anymore. But yeah, he did, not, he did nothing. Coruscant like does not nothing. care. When, when, when uh, Simpkin, the, the, came the on, other one came on, scored, he was running, he was trying. But Coruscant did not give a he fuck. He doesn't want to be there. Doesn't did want not to be care. There. He's, He's there, there for the paycheck 100%. and 100%. I reckon they'll drop him or leave him soon, watch. Two, three weeks. He better go I'm find himself Because he started. He started really good. Yeah, he's but a, he's getting but he's had enough. Bro, the Broncos game, he did not care. He had, I think, one run. That whole, Coruscant having one run, that never happened. Yeah, but you see when he ran? No one was helping him. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, 100%. I agree. I agree with and what I think saying. that's when he was like, I've had enough. Can I just say, though, the Broncos, if you watch every other team in the they try to score every couple sets, you know. But the Broncos, every single play, they are going for the throat. No, I think it was. I think it was just because they were playing the Tigers and they seen it, because they were literally making line breaks every time they ran the ball. They're going for the throat. They just went for the Tigers' throat every ball, every time they touched the ball. They were going for that try line. They were breaking the every, line. They were, and it's but incredible. that too, doesn't too many happen. Players, man, it's too scary. Usually, that back line, if that that's front your, line, where do you? What's, like, well, you've got Haas. How he, do you he, he can break the line. Listen, t- Harrigan, you've got to remember, they played the Tigers. Just continue. No, no but every game they're doing is... No, no, look at, look at their run. Not like the Tigers game. Man. It doesn't matter who they're versing. Yes, they've got an easy run coming up. But these teams, these shit teams, are playing them into form. And when their team is in form, how you st- look at the roster, how are you stopping any of those players? Hey, hey, this, they could be a done for as well. You peak, 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 boom. They might, That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. But do you, do, you think, do you think they can win the comp? No. You don't think they're going to win the comp? I, there's about four teams right now that I think could win the comp and they're one of them. No, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't give them any chance. I don't keep this. No, no, no. I the know way no they are playing now, like there's no way. There's nev- never been a team that's played this good. And like, kept it up, yeah. Like I, when I was talking to one of the boys on the weekend, they were saying, what about the Panthers? Uh, the, plan- the Panthers did go on that massive run, but they were, they were like scraping games, mm. not playing well, getting wins. No, the Broncos are, are thumping. They're looking amazing. To keep that performance up, 
Bro, it's a six month competition. Mm. To play no, that good for that six way. months, there is no way. But, hey, you look at their run as well. Roosters have a hard run. Eels have a hard run. Panthers, Rabbitohs, Manly. They've had a very easy All run. hard runs. Other than Panthers, they've had a very easy yeah. run. And they, it continues. So the Broncos just look good. Eventually, they're going to have to head into a hard run. Uh, and when and that happens. That's towards the back end of the season. Is it? I feel like, yeah, it's somewhere between the mid, mid-season mid towards the back end of the season. I feel like the they're season. trying to help them because they've only got what, two? To help them? I feel like that's their biggest how many fi- How many games out of Queensland? They don't have much. I think they have five or six left out of Queensland. Most of their games uh, are in, in Queensland. Brisbane. Yeah, I, I mean, Queensland so or Brisbane. It's somewhere. their season, man. It's, like, it's, it's all going their way. All night games, Friday night games. Yeah. Well, it helps. Uh, it I've helps. Never seen I don't, them play I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. see it, man. I yeah, don't I see it. Them, so. I don't see them win the comp, but I do see them going very far into the competition. Would it surprise you if they won it, though? No. You wouldn't be yeah, no, it would. Like it would. It would surprise me. Right now, like but right now, I've got to see where they are in a couple of months. Like, no one's won it now. No one's won it in well, April. Well, the Dragons will always make premieres. In May? Yeah. Yeah. It's only April, bro. Yeah. Still got a month. Let's see where they are in May. All right. Who do Broncos have this week? Um, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But whoever it is, uh, good, good luck. luck. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. honestly, good luck. Yeah, they're All right. in form. They're so, in form. yeah, they're, they're killing it. Now, let's talk about the Tigers. Mitchell Pearce. So the, the story is that Shane's got in contact with Mitchell Pearce. He got rejected. No. Listen. So Shane's got in contact with Mitchell Pearce. Something new come out. This was on a Wednesday. Mitchell P- Shane's got in contact with Mitchell Pearce. The story broke. And he gave him the whole spiel. This is where we're, the club's heading towards. This is what we want to do. I want you to be a part of it. Anyway, Thursday comes around. Who calls Mitchell Pearce to have a chat with him? Benji. Trying to lure him into the club. Trying to lure him into the club. Whatever way they can. Mitchell Pearce comes out, rejects it. Says no. Nah. He comes out and he says, all right, the reason I don't want to come is because I'm playing... I can't remember what team is playing oh, for. Something about him winning... Coming they're, first, they're coming yeah. first. They're probably going to win the, the, the Super League in England. So they're killing it right now. What he said also in the same interview was, I spoke to Shane's and I spoke to Benji. And they had two separate directions they two wanted to take the club visions. in. Two separate visions. Two completely... Yes. Two completely different directions they want to take the club in. What did we say was a problem last week? Too many heads there, man. Too many heads. There's, there's, and that's not, that's, Who that, are they following at this point? Farrah has, Farrah, Farrah, Farrah hasn't even came out and said anything. Farrah hasn't said anything. <laughs> God David, knows what he's David thinking. Ferner, the assistant coach, mm. he hasn't said anything either. There's four, there's four. So they want Benji as the next coach. They want Robbie Farrah as his assistant. They've got Tim Sheens now and they've got David Ferner as the assistant. David Ferner used to be the coach of Canberra for a very long time. Yeah, that's all so right. He's a first grade coach, like tried and tested. You got four different heads telling you what to do. Who are the players listening to? Who are they following? You have no point? idea. Yeah, if I was Mitchell Pierce, I would reject it as well. You have no but idea. Like Mitchell Pierce as well. Is that really the vision you have? For yeah. Do you club? feel like if he comes, he makes a difference? I don't think he does. How old is the man now? It would help. He'll be better than Brooks. It would help, but there's no way he's going to say, "Yeah, I'm going to go." How's that a long-term solution? He's like, how old is he? Late thirties. No, I think he's six or something. No, no, no. I think he's younger. He's pretty, he burst on young. He burst on young. To, on yeah, he joined the Roosters what two thousand what eight seven. Eight? No, oh, after, yeah. after, after 2008. He was in the 10 grand final. He was in the 10 grand final, yeah. I think, I think, he's, I think he made his debut 2009. That's 13 years. Uh, well, how old was he when he made his debut? He's, he's, in, his late, he's, he's in his late 30s. Mid-30s. Mid-30s. Oh, mid, mid to late. But, mid to late. but it, it is what they need. They, want, they need a, a controlling half. Someone who can like, calm it down, pick up the tempo. But why would he go there? Why would you say, this is my last contract. I get, get to go back to, the, to Australia, play in the NRL. The Premier League, uh, the Premier uh, competition when it comes to rugby league, join the Tigers. You want to finish with a spoon? There's no right, way he, he was going. He pull a Suwali in. I mean, probably he's probably getting bigger bigger money in England than what the Tigers oh, are. 100 percent. He's getting big, big papers there. So there's literally nothing enticing for him to come to the Tigers. No. If I think if a better club went in for him, but, but, but the better clubs aren't aren't looking for that type of player. I reckon. No, I reckon if the, bo- I reckon if the Bulldogs went for him, they would have got him. They'd get him. Yeah, wait till I talk, about, him, wait till I talk about Carl Flanagan. You just keep going. Did you see him today? I'm gonna I say, felt yeah, like yeah. he watched our podcast too. <laughs> so, but I was going to say it, but I was going to save it. Anyways, yeah. Um, I feel like if Tigers can win one game, it'll start. But who do you when do you think they'll win? Who do you see him beating? Honestly, I don't know. I know they've seen Eels this week. For some reason, I, I feel like they're going to beat them. Tip him. No, I promise you. You do me to tip him? Tip him then. All right. I'm I promise you. And you, this, you this, is this is on record. This is on record. Their first win comes against the Dragons because we that's the team we. That's that's the thing we do. 
Play people in the form. Yes, that's the thing we do. And and clip this for later. It's round ten. Come back out. Round ten. So you're gonna they're gonna go. Hey, nah, I'm telling you now. Guys. They'll get their first win against the boy. They're Eels. lucky they've got the boy. No, they, hey, the boy can still go against them. You reckon they'll lose to the boy? Eels. <laughs> Eels. Not in good form. They're gonna beat the Eels. I see it, man. The dragons are the only team that can be like here, yeah, mate. Do we take pull, it? Do we pulling out that strap on? <laughs> He's winning him that game. The, yeah. Bro. The way they're even using Dewey. Signs, he signed last year to play 5-8. Three games in, fullback. Something Waking he go- didn't want. It's no, he, he wanted, wanted to play fucking 5-8. I, I, don't know if you, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember the whole Tigers game. I remember Books running. Oh, shit, what do I do? Oh, Dewey. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. yeah. either throw the ball or crumble with it. Yeah, There's Dewey no, vision. Yeah, no du- vision. Dewey can't do anything right now at fullback. Yeah, he it's, runs it's, to the line and stuck a- shit. Job. They're and in a very bad place, bad. man. Dude, he's not a bad player. No, he's a good, he's a gun, oh, man. Like, now I'm, what the hell is Wakeham doing there, too? Yeah, he's I told you last week. I, I swear, said last week. He's just grab him, he just stand here and just don't do anything. Just stand there. He's not a solution. Anyway, so, so yeah, Tigers go down to Broncos. They've got the uh, Paramount Eels next week, and Bill thinks they're going to beat them. Yeah. Saying it right, he hear it here first. Captain Hopgood. Anyway, let's keep going. Captain Hopgood? Captain Hopgood, but Tigers to win. Let's go. I don't think Hopgood. He yeah, doesn't Captain play big Hopgood. minutes. Hopgood's on a decline, my friend. All right. Yeah, Next game. The big, shock of the round. Big, big upset, man. Massive upset. I was so happy. I was listening to this. I was My oh. heart was pounding like the doggies were playing. Sharks v Warriors, 30 for the Sharks, 32 Warriors. Wow. Hey, look, me and a lot of people from work were talking. I said, because of the rain, Knights will win. Uh, Knights. Warriors win this game. Doesn't work in the favour of the Sharks, aren't they? Sharks, they're supposed to be in water. Sharks like to play throw the ball footy. Yeah. What kind of shark can't play in water? Nico Hines has <laughs> wet hair. You know you what? I'll start by saying suck it, Nico Hines. You want to pump <laughs> us last week? That's what you get. He still pumped him, bro. He's he got did. like the first, yeah, first, first half he pumped yeah, yeah, yeah. him. Second half, you know, second half he couldn't do anything. The mistakes that bro, Sharks got were making. To, it got to 20-0. 26, 26-6. Yeah, so it went to 20-0, then they scored then 26-6. They had twice in that game. Mm. 20, 20 point leads, man. How do you take your foot off the accelerator that bad? Hey, there's errors. The, there's errors from Ronaldo and Murtala. He was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a lot, a lot yeah, of... He couldn't you know what he, Did you watch the game? Yeah. Did you see him mouthing off? From the start. He, from the start. And then, and, then he got, and then he got absolutely pumped. Talk about grubs of today's age. He is one of them. I can't see Do you know... I, I never had anything Sorry. against him until that game. Do you know... See how at halftime the... The commentator talk about, oh, this guy said this, Craig Fitzgibbon said this in the thing. Yeah, no. Craig Fitzgibbon said to him, don't roll the other team up. And he goes out there and he doesn't. He went exactly out that. there, rolled the team up and copped and lost. He was in a copper smack, wasn't he? Someone was going to hit him in the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the, that's, that's what I'm saying. The he two wingers going. were going at it. He kept, he kept going, kept going, man, but Sean yeah, hey, fucking Sean Johnson. Found Johnson. One back the clock, son. Bro. One back the clock. Look, you know what? Sean Johnson, yeah, 100% highlight. Yeah, but just just where he was last year, yeah, where yeah. he was with his last year with the Sharks. Now, bro, he's pu- he's he's pulled it back. But bro. that Warriors team, they don't give yeah, up. Bro, well, yeah. Yeah. at twenty nil, you're meant to fold. And, well. and my question is, isn't it not ninety nine percent the same team as last year? Yeah, it is. It's, who's yeah, new? Yeah, literally. Who's um, new? Mitch Barnett he didn't play, but you got um, you got from the Dragons forward. Yeah, Jackson and Ford, who's a massive difference. Massive he might not attack. Even, he can attack. Even an attack man. He didn't attack today, but he's defend. He's defend. He hit you hard. And on I, point. I don't think anyone else. I can't. Man, but e- can't. Egan's. Uh, not yeah, Egan. he's always been there. But man, bro, that team and the, oh, I forgot the coach's name. He was on. He was with the Panthers. He was with the Panthers yeah. as well. He left when Seraldo left, so he left this year. And he had vision. Penrith vision. Bro, they are playing amazing footy. Up. They don't give up. That's two weeks in a row. Bro. We were beating yeah. them. All way, all what way. was your score against them? We, it was small. It was small. It was no, no, uh, no, 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 no. It never. I never, no, it never blew no, up. No. It was always but tip for the, We were always ahead of them. We were always ahead of and them until the twelfth, the uh, twelve minutes left. They scored, and then bro, we could not do anything. You know, one the best thing about them, honestly, is that uh, at twenty nil, you fold. Yeah, you. That's I, it. I expect. I expect Roosters. You to You pack fold. your bag and go home, man. Because you start stressing out. You play stupid footy. Yeah, you try to score. Early shower, mate. You're yeah. getting mate, Warriors would not throw a stupid ball when they're twenty nil down. Yeah, it was fucking. No incredible. dump passes from Johnson. No chipping chases. Such no. Heart, that's bro. bad. That's that's. They grind it. And honestly, you got to give it back to the coach. I forgot coach his name. Came there and put heart into oh. every single one. He would have. He would have been on that mic, giving it, telling his uh, his assistants, bro. Go out to tell him, keep your heads, keep your heads. No stupid shit. Exactly right. No stupid shit. Man. Bro, the Warriors evolved. Why do we used to love the Warriors? Just throw the ball. Throw the ball. Yeah. Go crazy. Offload, yeah. offload. Filetti Mateo. 
Offload. Oh, oh. As he's falling, Bond pops his arm out. Oh, right, we can go back so to smart. even Sean Johnson. Past couple of years, he would crumble under pressure. One hundred percent. He has kept his head the past couple of weeks, and he's just playing what's in front of him. Bro, Killing well, him. I mean, they they impressed but me honestly, so much. As, as much as Johnson played good, Sharks lost it themselves as well. Of course yeah, they did, but, 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 but all points, you have to do is defend your 20, 20 points 20 up. 20 points up. Yeah, it's true. 20 points up. Don't man. even play for the try anymore. Don't, tries, don't play to, you're winning the game. Don't play to score. Play to play keep smart. the win. Kick to a corner. Defend. Kick to a corner. Defend. That's all you had to do. It's true. No, they tried no. to choke, uh, choke the game, did, yeah. get more points, and it backfired. And but suck I, it, Hines. Really, suck it. Hey, I really enjoyed watching <laughs> Johnson, but he runs to the line, short ball forward. Short ball, short ball, short ball, and a dummy go. Yeah, yeah, and he scored. Like, he scored. You can't as well. predict it. You just can't. No, nah, it's so uh, light on his feet. still light on his feet. He's a he's a nice watching player. That, he's a touch player. He's a he's a touch player. Running like that in the touch. wet. Like, but remember the highlight videos we used to watch of him in course, high school. Man. It right? like, and our real highlight reels like yeah, but and he's winding it back with the sharks. They try to make him play structured footy. Mm. At the Warriors, he's doing what he wants now. Yeah, you, you. He tells you where to go, and he'll play if he wants to play. Play what's in front of you. And the old Johnson's oh, well. back. Anyway, so Warriors, what a win, man! I was so, I was so over the moon. Yeah, I think everyone other than Sharks fans are happy. Oh, 100 yeah, percent. I think the Warriors are everyone's second favorite team. For me, yeah. I yeah, you I love look, them. I don't enjoy watching them. Previously, oh, I did now not, I, do. I now did not enjoy yeah. watching them previously, but this season I have enjoyed watching them. They look and really you good. Can't man. Them. You can't hate them, bro. Any time a team comes back from twenty nil down, it's beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so the last game of the round. Hey, oh, hey there we yeah, go. you can start. He can, smile, he can smile on camera. Let's go now. Go. Bulldogs 15, Cowboys 14. Bulldogs 15, Cowboys 14. That's it. Does that sound weird? Well. Say it again. <laughs> Bulldogs 15, <laughs> Cowboys oh, that's 14. Oh, right, relax. Man, I was... I would, bro, I said, I said the game started and... Like you're what you're gonna say, fucking Flanagan. He's so bad. Bro, he he ran the ball twice with his first two touches for no fucking reason. Is I, he starting to look like Luke Brooks to you or what? It's exactly <laughs> No, he, I want Luke Brooks. I said it last week. Give me Luke Brooks. The whole comment section laughed at you. No, just nah, not everyone. Not he's everyone. At, not everyone. People looking, who know know. He's looking like Tigers Luke Brooks. Not Bulldogs yeah. Luke Brooks, the vision that you have that is not gonna be. Because the me. vision that I have is Andrew Johns. Straight the fuck out. For Luke Brooks? For Luke Brooks, bro. Bring him in. Anyway, I, I hope this comment section pumps him. <laughs> Humpy. Give your thought in Don't the comments. Don't clip this. Give your thought in the comments. <laughs> All right, so, um, anyway, so Flanagan is a fucking absolute passenger, man. Mm, okay. Absolute passenger. The ball fell to him, I think, when we were down by two, uh, four, sorry, with like four minutes to go, and he put in a grabber. Bro, what <laughs> the so fuck? So what so the shit. fuck? He hit the fucking advertising board in fucking ANZ Stadium and Acor Stadium. It's a hundred meters out. How the? F- why are you kicking it so fucking He's, hard? Bro, and there was one player that pissed me off. Like it was, it was for Super Coach as well. Straight out, he ran to the line. It opened up for Perham at the back. It became a three on two. He's like, nah, fuck this. He just took it. He around. took a dummy. He took the dummy. Who the was dummy. it? He dummy around. Flanagan, Flanagan. No, Flanagan. Yeah, I'm telling you, he was running because he was like, fuck, the media's got to me now. I've got to run. Can Bro. I just say, he's got to leave the kicking game to Burden as well. Bro, but how much, how much do you want fucking Burden to do? You spread the ball out to him. Instead of passing it through the hands, on third, he's kicking it. Yeah, he, he doesn't know what to do. Brother, run he the does, ball. He's, he's, sh- he's confident. Actually, don't run the ball. Don't com- do anything. <laughs> just pass it. <laughs> Yo, what, you're about to his say confidence, confidence is shit. Is, Why? Is sh- Bro, like, nothing's sh- happened to him. Shot to shit. Ah, uh, yeah. I it's think shot- the Roosters put him down badly and he just didn't recover from that. No, honestly. He was honest doing to this God, Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, no, but that's that's what fucked him. He has not found form. Bro, I can't remember the last time. Shit, the mic, sorry. I can't remember the last time he had... A 7 out of 10 game. I honestly cannot. You can't, you can't. You can't How know. good was he with the Sharks? As a 19 year old? He was, he was. He was controlling the rooster, games. He went to the Roosters. His confidence went through the ground because they put, they, they used him, him as a scapegoat. They dropped him. They used him as a scapegoat. And that's a dog. He's never a shell. We have, we have a shell of a player. I've always said, <laughs> if coaches like, this, like Bellamy and Robinson, if they let a player go, there's a reason. Look at Bellamy when he let um, Croft go. Yeah. Broncos were like, oh, we'll take him. Yeah, that took him. What happened? Yeah, we don't even know where he is now. Yeah, we don't know where he is now. I agree, man. I agree. Kyle I feel Flanagan. like I feel like Kyle Flanagan is a player that, like, if Bennett gets his hands on him, he can do something there, unlock some potential. Look, I'm gonna say something to Kyle Flanagan if he watches this. I was gonna tell him to. I had a message for him. You want? Like, you, you know, you, you tell your message? message. No, I was gonna tell him to go become an Uber driver because <laughs> it's not working out for him. <laughs> That's too far. That's racist. <laughs> no, Kyle, we love you. I was Just gonna say play reserve grade. Play what's in front of you, mate. 
They are straight the no fuck No coaches. Out. Don't let anyone talk to him. Like, just play with your Look at Johnson. He looks up and plays. Okay, straight and if that doesn't work, out. can he become an Uber driver? If that doesn't work, go play for Tigers. No, Uber driver. Swap. Straight swap with Brooks. I'd love that. Ooh, go, go work for Grab. <laughs> go work for Grab. So let's, you know, you know. Let's, let's go back. Let's get back to the game. 15-14. We fought back, right, in a game that I thought we were going to lose when he got to 14-6. He's haven't been in them in a while. A very long time. I think right? he's been nine, 9 out of 13 games he's haven't won. It's if a, I read the stat correctly. It's been a very long time. Since. Yeah, oh, no, we beat him uh, round yeah, one last year. Yeah, you beat him, but 9 out of 13. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we spoke last week that Cup was not the same anymore. They yeah, we said it. They we said it. Not the same. Yeah, we said it. So they got up 14 points to 6 with... I think it was around 10 minutes to go. Right before Ado Carr scored. Uh, not Ado Carr. Uh, Preston less. scored his Maybe second. Maybe a bit less. Preston? Well. I love Preston. We spoke about it last week. Well. He's a superstar. Could be he's, one of the boys of the season. Bro, he's got so much heart. That's all I want. When I watch Woodrocks play, I just want to see how. If we lost that game, honest to God, I wouldn't have, I'd be upset that we lost, but I wouldn't be upset with the performance. Yeah, no, you know yeah. why? Because it was the first time we played for 80 minutes. Yeah, you did. You first did. time this year we played 80 and, minutes. And you did have a few injuries. Like, you were falling a bit out there. Yeah, like, Max uh, came off, yeah. yeah, Max King came Max off. King, Preston, Preston broke his King finger off. into yeah. Max King's face yeah. and they, <laughs> he still played. I didn't see it. I was just on the radio because I was driving. Guys, like, when you're watching it, try to watch the game again and yeah. look at Max King's eye after he drops. Fuck. It doesn't even stay. Yeah, it's dark red. Yeah, but he came back on. Yeah, it was dark right. red and he's asking the, assist, the trainer, is it like... Is it bad? Like, around that. <laughs> was it, as in, he looked like he was going blind. The trainer was telling that. You look good. Oh, he, like, was the, he was definitely seeing six of you. He was definitely seeing six of the trainer. You look good. <laughs> and you got Max King's... <laughs> he was definitely seen about seven of him standing in front of him. He's like... He didn't have to look at you. <laughs> but yeah, so, and we had Fatala Marana got injured in the first minute, so yeah. the world's greatest player jumped on. Fuck me, dude. I can't stand him. Okumbo. He's, well, he played out of his he skin. Did. He, played he, played he played good. He played good. He played good, but he gave away a few stupid penalties. Cock and balls played good today. Hey, Pelé doesn't look too bad. But Pelé's good. He's just too big, but he yeah, can't play more than 20 minutes. The way he ran at that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't oh, play more than 20 now. minutes. He's gone. Why? He fractured his arm. Oh, is that what oh, exactly. I know he got injured. I heard it. Yeah. They got injured. So that, that <clears> it's another injury. And then we had one more. Who was the other? And Kikau was out. So there's a lot of players. Out. And the way we use Preston today, why don't you why don't we use yeah. Kikau like that? Instead of using him as a front row. Yeah. We use, how many times is Burnham getting one on one with the defender and just pop it to him? He's That's trying to score. That's what Kikau needs. That's what Kikau That's needs. That's what I'm saying. Use Kikau like that, bro. We'll reap the rewards. Yeah, hundred percent. It might take a bit of time, but you will get there eventually. Yeah. Uh, if they start using Kikau, or just leave Preston there. Use Kikau on the other side. You know, I wouldn't mind that, man, to have danger on both edges. Yeah, but hey, that, that, that burden at a car combination is so scary, man. Yeah, it's it is. very good. I love it it. Is. And Alamotti is starting to find his feet yeah, a bit. It's going to be a dead... That side will be a dead... With Kikau, Alamotti... Uh, sorry, burden, Kikau, Alamotti and, and the okay. Fox. Yeah, but so you what say that, but look at their right side as well. Preston, <coughs> Aver- Averilla, who I don't think is a centre, but he does all right. And Kiraz. Oh, he holds his own. Like, Kiraz? Start what a Kiraz. Flanagan. Because I can't, I, I am... Flanagan not cruise around, he just stays on the road. Yeah. No, he stays on, that's what burns me. I'm throwing what burns me. Our halves play on, on, on either edge, yeah, that's I, it. I saw him throw up in his mouth. What, what, no, no, I'm th- yeah, because I'm talking good about the Bulldogs and it just, it's not in me. But they have, <laughs> Mate, I'm doing they have potential. That's the only reason I'm doing it. They have potential. It. Kira, from Kiraz to the Fox, you see fucking right through the middle, except for uh, a few players in from Kiraz. There's, just, a, there's a bit of a gap one, there. I feel like we need a lock. <coughs> I feel like we need a solid lock. Like Tavita Penga comes back, but it, that's a solid lock. Yeah, but he'll you know take someone's head off and be out for eight weeks. Yeah. We need a solid lock, man. Well, that's why. And and Seraldo so wants Seraldo wants a ball playing lock. That's why we played uh, New Brown in, in the lock. I can't stand New Brown. Yeah, but he plays. I don't a, think he's he a very played, good lock. Hey, do you honestly? Yes, I, I think thought about this. Do you, do you honestly think that when Croydon comes, he goes to centre? Oh, he can't. No, he doesn't go to centre. I was no idea. To cent- he goes to centre and then never really back to fullback. Why they would put put him at fullback now? I was thinking about it. I, I reckon Hayes Perry can, can play centre. If, nah. if that switch was I don't think he can play centre. Bro, I think... Uh, I think it's way too I small. think Croydon plays full back, man. I don't... I, I'd, I'd love to see it because it's going to wreck you. But mm. I'd hate to see it because it's going to wreck you. No, no, no. I reckon Croydon plays full back. Oh, so I reckon he pops up as well. Premiership from another 10 years. Remember this. Remember this. No, we're winning the Premiership next uh, year. I told you this. Say, say it to the game. Tell well, them the stat, tell them the stat if you want. We're winning the Premiership next year. Let me, let me do the stat and you can clip this. All right? 1974, we lose the, 1980, uh, the the grand final. 1984, we win the grand final. 1994, we lose the grand final. 2004, we win the grand final. 2014, we lose the grand final. 2024, we're going to win the grand final. You heard it here first. Is it destiny? 
Hundred percent. If if that if we don't want to be a final next year, my whole life is a lie. Bullshit. Okay. Simulation. So are, you, are you confident? Yeah. Okay. Don't so say money, haram. I don't no, 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 money. Show money. Yeah. I just want to kiss on that. Go ahead, fuck. Wow. Where's the heart? I don't want to piss on this. Ah, because you said that. No, I'll fucking rip your head off. Ah, you wear the bulldog's jersey, and we piss on you. No. There's no one now. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so dogs ended up, um, it was 14 all. Burden took that conversion from the sideline. What about if Adam Khan scores that try? It would have been I beautiful. I wish he scored that. Oh, that would have yeah. so much better. It would have been beautiful. But I'm telling you, I was driving, listening on the radio. Oh, you didn't see it. I didn't oh, see it. The radio Bro, like, goes off you, as well. That's what I was going to say. Oh, the radio, there's like four guys in the box for a radio. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't, and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm in a car park, my wife's getting out to buy water. I'm like, fuck, let's go, let's go. <laughs> what's happening? And it goes, how? No, six again. I'm like, what's going on? And then he slots it. And then, it, and then he goes, uh, and then, but the, the, like their volume's dropped, and then they're like, oh, Burden gets the ball. He has a crack. He's kicked it. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I love the radio. The radio, yeah, a radio commentary, honestly, elite, bro. Elite, elite. It is oh, so When you're good. losing, it's the worst. Yeah, yeah. When you're losing, because oh, he's right, he's right. He's ten minutes out from his line. Yeah, but yeah, that's what they do. Every time there's a normal hit up on the radio, yeah. right, like off the kickoff. What a run! And he gets taken out Fine. ten meters <laughs> out from his own line. What do you want to search it up a bit? But Channel 9 commentary, <laughs> put it in the bin. Rubbish. Hey, it's rubbish. Put it in the rubbish. bin. How bad is Ray it? Hadley. How the I'm fuck are they paying Ray, their money? Fuck Ray Hadley, bro. Just in case, bro. Fuck him. <laughs> How are they paying their money? If he's watching money? this, fuck you. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck, fuck him. The cut's the worst, bro. Fuck him. How are they paying their money fucking to do that? Put oh, us hey, in the box. Put us in the box. Oh, bro. bro, just give me a shot. Channel 9, bro. give me a shot. He gets the ball. Ray Hadley's commentary gets the ball, passes out. Passes back inside, chip and chase. Oh, he's in the uh, uh, what, what? Happy, Goes, happy, goes happy back, turns around, th- steps three ready. people, chips again, runs around, chips again, runs around, chips again, scores. Wait, don't you remember Sean Johnson? Sean Johnson straight through the line. Steps yeah. one, steps two. He scores. He's dead. There's no but, passion. But you watch the game, Sean Johnson's fucking people on the field. There's no passion. Brother, it's the passion. worst. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no G up. There's no G up. Oh, we're getting off topic. Anyway, so yeah, so Burden, Burden... Takes that conversion from the sideline. That I watched because I had my phone and it died right after it. But I seen the conversion. I was sitting there watching it. Bro, I thought it was over. I knew it. as soon as I seen that ball roll back, and then they played it to Burden. I was telling my wife, I was no, like, "He's the conversion. It. The conversion. Oh, the conversion. Yeah, okay. let's get to the conversion first. Did you see the conversion? We hit the post. No. Fuck it, broke Heartbreak. my heart. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the post. Yes, yes. I, I thought yeah. I, I thought we lost because I looked at that team. We have never won a. Got him, uh, oh, is that no, uh, that squad, no. I told my wife as well, as, as soon as he missed it, I said, Valentine Holmes is kicking this. Yeah, I thought... I thought Burden is not, he's not going to have a go, have a chance. And he fucking slotted it. And he was close to the to the, like, to the sideline. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know where he kicked his field goal from. I have no idea where he kicked his field goal from. It was close to the sideline. Sideline 30 uh, literally, 40. Literally, yeah, 30. all I heard was, he t- he's, he's had a crack here. It's in! That's all I heard. <laughs> I don't know where it was from. I have no uh, idea. Do you remember when Latrell kicked it for the Roosters? Yeah. When it was, it, it was Melbourne. halfway, yeah, it was halfway there and they started celebrating, that's yeah. how it was. The second he kicked it, everyone used it. Right, I was in a car park, like I said, my wife was getting water. I yelled, Yes! The trolley guy was outside, the hat Allah he jumped. Look at that, sorry, bro. Hey, you know what? Sorry, speaking about that, it just reminded me, what about the when Johnson kicks the goal and then Nico Hines has the crack? Oh yeah, we, we, we talk about but that. But it was very far, it was very far out. It was very far oh, out. I had no doubt that it was kicking that. You thought he was going to kick it? No, like, I had no doubt in my mind he was missing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I thought he missed. I, I knew 100%. Yeah. It was way too far out. Yeah, way too far out. He's raining. not a big kicker. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, so anyway, so misses the thing, kicks the field goal, 15 40 wins. Happy I'm happy, days. very happy, because we finally played 80 minutes and there was a lot eight of plus. things. 80, 80 plus? Yeah, exactly. All right, 85 minutes we played. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. She's happy. Oh, okay, is that your celebration? Oh, is yeah. that a dance thing? Oh, she's been doing it since oh, she's one. I don't know. What, she keeps looking What's at me. What's the other dance you used to do? Uh, don't even get me started. Oh, I don't hey, even want to look that listen, way. Listen, listen, listen. What is the... So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, so um, we played 80 minutes, like I said. 85 minutes. Even if we lost, I would have been proud of the performance. It was against the Cowboys. Now, I've got to look. The Cowboys, you've got to take them for what they are. Last year, Nothing. top 14. Yeah. Last year they were top oh, 14. Oh, now they're last year's top 14. They were, they were. They, that's what you got to go off. But I don't... We're still going... Look, this is the second week of the podcast. We said it. 
Me and him called this. He's out. He's Cowboys out. were made. And it's head. looking more like they're falling out of the top eight. What are they coming? I think they're second last or third last. Have no, they they've got two wins. They've got two wins this year. So yeah. they, they were two and two before. Yeah, but yeah, everyone's were, got two wins except, except for the Tigers. Tigers. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen, fourteen dogs win, and that's uh, that's the NRL wrap. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot, it's, it's getting really interesting in the, uh, the footy this year. It's very, very mm. fun to watch. Not like every other year where. Other than the Tigers, the shit teams keep getting pumped and the good teams keep winning. It's very, very uh, entertaining to see. Everyone's got a lock except for the, except for the um, uh, Broncos. They're the only undefeated team left. Mm. But yeah, it's been it's been so fun to watch. So we move on. The Premier League was back, baby. Yes, sir. Yes. Was back. Yes, sir. And we started off on uh, Saturday night. It was a eleven uh, ten thirty uh, ten thirty p.m. kickoff. Manchester City versus Shitapool. Shitapool. Uh, that's uh, what a scoreline, oh. brother. The game, everything. You know what was crazy? I was watching it with a Liverpool fan. Hey, he was calm. He was. He was calm. He th- I thought he knew they were gonna lose. Yeah. I was watching a Liverpool fan, and Salah scored that first goal. And he jumped up. Uh, he's like, yeah, like he celebrated. He's happy, mm-hmm. and he's just fucking like a bit of my heart. Just, he's probably watching this. I'm like, fuck, shit. They they gonna fucking win. Mm-hmm. Fuck. And then City, man. City just done what City Can do. Can I just bro. say? Fucking so good. Mares. Played yeah. out of his skin. Yeah, Mar- he's been he's been over the past two months. He's probably been the most informed player without scoring a thousand yeah. goals. Uh, he deserved to go. So influential. Yeah, last he did. night, uh, two nights ago, whatever it was, he deserved to go. Yeah, he, he played out of his skin. Played so Freak. well, man. Grealish played out of his skin. Do you skin. think they would go well. that well at home? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the system. I feel like City will get rid of him. You know, who? Why would you say that? You're gonna that? let him go? I don't think so. I've read something. Like, like no, no, no. That, that re- the, bro, let me tell you something. When it comes to reports on football, it is fucking crazy. I've yeah. seen Mbappe linked with United. Oh, yeah, you don't know what the fuck they talk about most of the time. Yeah, bro, Mbappe, I've seen, I've seen and I read the article and I started getting convinced. A fucking oath, bro. The Qatari owners, their, their cousins of the PSG owners, if they're going to want to sell Mbappe to someone, it's to ask, fuck, we're signing, we're signing Mbappe. We're not signing shit. And he just resigns for PSG. Oh, so. he goes to Real Madrid. Yeah. Can I also just say Liverpool's defence are a bunch of statues standing around. That, that, there whose goal was it where they just stood there? Gundogan. Yeah, Gundogan, yeah. Bro. Did you watch the game? A bit of it. Yeah, okay. So did you see Gundogan's goal? No. Nah. The ball comes in. Someone has a shot. And get, they block it off the line. Well, lands back at Gundogan. Lands no one's attacking him. They're standing lands there. Lands back at Gundogan. And, and Trent alexander arnold standing there like, like that. Statue. He did that like same that. thing to United. Okay, the same thing with United. Yeah. Canate standing next to him. Like no, this. like that, yeah. No one, no one moved. In. No one even tried to slide in front of the ball. Nothing. He just yeah. I'll say it. like because I've watched a bit of it. Their defense was exactly when like sorry, their defense was United's defense when they beat us. That why would you bring that up? I'm just saying that seven nil school. That beautiful school. Why would you, why, why would you bring that up? You say seven one. You say it was a seven one. Anyway, so next game, next game was Arsenal <laughs> versus uh, Leeds. I'll continue with City Liverpool. All right, so bro, like and without Haaland, if Haaland was there. We would have had a field day, bro. We would have had a field day because they were getting checked. Bro, Alexander-Arnold cannot defend to save his life. You can clip this as well. Alexander-Arnold is the worst defender in the Premier League bar none. He makes makes fucking Harry Maguire look like fucking Prime Maldini. Like fucking Prime Maldini. Alexander-Arnold, I'm not fucking hating. Well, I'm speaking truth. He cannot fucking defend. It's actually fucking embarrassing how this cunt is in the fucking Premier League. Bro, play him in the centre mid. Play him in the centre mid. Bro, I've got a platform to fucking talk now. I'm a fucking talk. Alexander Arnold is a fucking bucket. Straight the fuck out. In Arabic, a sotel. He's a sotel. A sotel. He cannot defend. It's actually embarrassing. Why not play right? Play him in the centre mid. Play Simicass at right back. Set. Bro, pass through the ball. They bro. bring him off on no, no, the attack. bench and knock the 70th minute or yeah, something. Yeah, they're no, attacking wise, he's really good. Uh, bro, attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I pass through yeah. the ball. Mm. Honest to God, no bias. <coughs> he is one of the sweetest passes of the ball I've ever yeah. seen. His defense is shit. Even that, that Barcelona goal. He's just a statue. He's oh. like, where he takes the corner mm. quick. Bro, how hard is it to get. Origi just had to, to him, bro. Just had to yeah. swing his foot. They didn't have to move. No, Origi just swung his foot. How hard is that? Of course it is. Accuracy. He can fucking pass yeah, the ball, his defense, but I think fuck me, agrees. he it cannot defend. He cannot defend. Does not. He doesn't know when to go in when he has to go out. Go out when he goes in. Fucking useless. He looks like a lost cause. He, he, he looks like in defense. He looks like um, Flanagan. Bro, no. One he does it. One he does it. No, no, I'm saying, see how Flanagan's lost an attack? No, no, no. He looks like that in defense. No, we're going to... Brooks. No, even worse, but you don't understand, cuz. 
You seen the game? It was bad. It was he bad. Cannot, I don't think he won a single tackle. Like, I don't think he lot. attempted a single tackle. He did. He get attempts a lot. Even the even the, the first goal where they crossed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Straight through his legs. Yeah, yeah. The set, the 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 Gundogan goal, bro. Just charge at him. You're in. He's got the ball in the six yard box. You rush Not him. The yeah. Rush him. Take his something. legs out, bro. Defend the. If you're gonna give him a like penalty, but, but just get there. Have a crack. Yeah. Get Have there. a crack. He just stood there. Anyway, so Arsenal, uh, City, absolutely. It's dominating. Ran it right. Like uh, when I seen the Salah guy, that was Salah's first shot on target. After that, where'd he go? Yeah, missing. He's MIA. Bro, disappeared. He's doing that a lot recently. Yeah. Disappeared. That's, that's uh, he his, signed. That's when his game. But he signed his contract last year and disappeared. That's his game plan. Scores Honestly. one goal and just becomes a passenger. Disappeared. Uh, their midfield, Liverpool have massive, massive issues in that midfield, man. Massive issues. When they have to rely on Milner to come on the bench and try to do something. The guy's like 38. Yeah, he, well, he looks 50, but... Right, it's fucked. Apparently, so apparently, he kept getting reports from Liverpool. He's our fittest player. The guy's about to die, bro. Let him rest. Yeah, Aaron Woods was the fittest player in the Dragons. Doesn't mean he fucking playing. <laughs> was he actually? Yeah, this year he was the fittest he's ever been. And they got rid of him straight away. <laughs> How First do you give him a player like that? Hell. He's your fittest player. Look, we, needed the mo- we needed the money. We needed the money to leave the <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Arsenal, uh, City 4, Liverpool 1. It was just... What, I love that. It was, yeah, I, like, I can't I stop that. saying it. It was, a, it was a great performance by uh, City, as much as I hate them as well. I'd rather Liverpool lose, to be honest. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was going to say that. Like, I hate both teams, but like, City's just class, man. They, honestly, they that fir- how good was that first goal? Maris picks it up on the right, passes in, I can't remember Alvarez. who. Alvarez. No, no, no. Alvarez was the one that scored, scored it. it yeah. But they, they, they went from one winger, to the other. ended up with Grealish. Grealish, yeah. All passes along the ground, and then Grealish with that beautiful cross in between Trent's feet, right between his legs. <laughs> right between his legs and just tapped <laughs> it in. Well, shout out, uh, Alexander Arnold. Yeah, if you watch this, I love you. <laughs> big fan. Oh, changing world. <laughs> if he watches this, watch you know, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you a story real quick, all right? You clipped this one as well. This is, this is his story, all right? We work in the city. Um, United, uh, Liverpool Legends game Yes At ANZ Stadium yes, Alright And we work in security I'm like you know what I'm going to wear my Manchester United jersey Just in case Because Steven Gerrard is playing right? I'm like just in case I see Steven Gerrard You know what I want to do I want to do this I want to flash him the badge Just show him here Fucking How many league, league titles do you have cunt Anyway and I'm like Gee up my fucking oath I'm going to put my jersey on Put my security gear on And I went yeah, But What's the chances I'm going to see him like face to face? So I'm going to do that very, very, very low, very right? Out of nowhere, before the game kicked off, they're like, oh, go to the tunnel. Oh, the chances this is increased. I'm like, I'm like, all right. And I'm thinking, why do you fucking know? If I see Steven Gerrard, I'm going to flash him the badge. <laughs> I go in, but they're you know all. exactly what he does. <laughs> yeah, I know, he's such a kid. <laughs> they're, all, they're, all, they're all in the, they're in the <laughs> change rooms, right? I'm like, oh, fuck this. Like in my head, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm just lucky he's in the change room. The door opens to the change room and it stays open. And there's one player, Wahiat Allah, sitting right in front of me. Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard. Do you know what I've fucking done? Big fan. <laughs> no, no, I didn't, I didn't shake his head. Bro, I, my <laughs> knees started to fucking shake. I'm like, oh my God, it's Steven Gerrard. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. I forgot I had a United jersey on. I'm just there while I was it, looking it at It became a fucking Liverpool jersey at that Bro, point. Bro, <laughs> I was just like, but fuck hey, me. What about, I know we're on soccer, but do you remember when I saw Cody Walker on the field? <laughs> Now what'd you do? Uh, so everyone knows I hate Cody Walker. Yeah. It was the Rabbitohs versus, I think, Penrith or Tigers. Remember how we used to work those games? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, the whole team starts walking my way to the crowd. I'm on the edge. And I am saw Cody Walker. I'm like, when he gets close, I'm just calling him a grub. Just say it. Just call him a grub. He walks past me. Oh, hey, Gomer. Oh, hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> big fan, big fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, but with Steven Gerrard, mm. like, this is my moment to fuck this Liverpool scum. Bro, full fangirl. Bro, off one leg off like, oh, bro, my knees were shaking. Should have told him don't slip up. I'm like, oh my, bro, I was I was gonna kiss his hand. It was <laughs> fucked. I'm like, and then I walked off thinking, fuck you, a bitch, bro. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> like you're sitting uncomfortable with three layers of clothing on for <laughs> fucking what? Your biggest moment, just to put it on him, and, and I you became a fangirl. Anyway, yeah. So that, that's my little story. How I met Stephen Gerrard, pussy. Anyway, so we move on. Next game, Arsenal v Leeds. I'm not happy with this one. Yeah, bro, too. Arsenal, they yeah, keep good. fucking getting these wins. Bro, I'm telling you, they're incredible. They they are as a city fan, Arsenal's well. They're very good. They're very. They're yeah, fucking, it's not even a point where they're just winning games. They're dominating opponents. Yeah, right? but even that, even sometimes, bro, they'll 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 play. They'll, they dominate Leeds, man. They were by far the better team, right? And then it gets to a point where you know they'll play a, I don't know, a fucking Everton. For example, right? Yeah. And they they'll, shoot themselves. They'll play mm. Everton, yeah, and they'll be it'll be nil nil. Everton might take the lead, and then bam, two one. They'll win it in the ninetieth minute. Yeah. 
It's happened they about done, three times. They've already. done it against United, yeah. bro. We were, when we we went someone up twice. Else. They did someone else. Um, they done it again. I can't remember who it was, but I know. When we Saka scored the last goal. No, nah, someone scored a rocket. Yes, I can't remember who you're talking about. Um, Matlin Niles, the the left back. Yeah. Was it Leicester? I can't remember. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, like that's what we're talking There's about. Little, yeah, last bro, minute goals. They, they can dominate teams, and when the games are hard and they come into a ground, or one team's jeered up, bro, they you scrape through yeah, with bro. these wins, and it's what champions are made of, honestly. I think, I honestly think they're going to win. No, I'll, I'll tell you it's, what, it's, I'll, I'll put it down I, to. I don't want them to. I'll put it I'd down to right now, when you? they verse each other. Because they've got a game against each other. And, and oh, they're two point, three points apart. No, five, no, no, they're they're five points apart. No, no, there's no, eight points apart. It's eight points, but I think, or something like that. It's eight points apart, but we have a game in hand. Yeah, so do you have a game in hand to make it, what, five? Yeah, and, and then them. we verse and them, and them to, make each it, other. Yeah, two. to make it two. And there's what? And eight Arsenal have a more loss more in them. There's a few, like, I think there's ten games left. Arsenal yeah. have a loss in them. They have a mm. slip up. And they do. that's they have the a, only way we win. They have a random shocker in them, man. Saying so, that City do too. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But that's the Premier League, man. That's why I fucking love it. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's good. All right, so Arsenal and City, man, they keep just that, they that keep cat and mouse they... chase, man. They keep, yeah. It's a cat and mouse think, chase. <clears throat> I think whoever you support in the Premier League, you're interested in that league race now. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. I'm, I'm a Manchester United fan. I can't stop watching these two. You have right? to, because they're both on fire. They're both producing just, just pure entertainment yeah it is it's very good and and it's especially fun especially Arsenal especially Arsenal yeah. their entertainment yeah they are they're Passing playing amazing football. Football. Odegaard's just off his head right yeah, now yeah Odegaard's playing great <coughs> bro Saka he's like he's, yeah. probably the best right mid in the Premier League right bro, now if I not if I not the him. world bro straight out I actually love Saka the, bro you know what it is Saka he missed a penalty in the Euro final against Italy two yeah. years ago yeah missed the penalty He's come back. From then, he's just flourished. Bro, he's gone from strength to strength. That just shows a fucking champion player, yeah, yeah. honestly. One letdown just drove him to... Look at him I'll now. never do that again. Yeah. Yeah, and he's popping off. So, yeah, now Arsenal, man. The Arsenal fans get excited. Get excited because uh, it could be your year. Also, City fans, stay a bit hopeful. <laughs> City, hey, they're, if, they're, if they're good enough, they're there. If they're good yeah, enough, they can win close. it. All right, next game <clears> we're going to be talking about, and last uh, game we're going to talk about is... Chelsea at home Even versus point Aston talking. Villa. Is there a point talking about this game? Villa 2, Chelsea nil. When it, look, Chelsea is the Eels. When they lose, everyone's happy. Yeah. But can you not compare an elite sport to some fucking sport? I'm just saying that, the teams Stop comparing wise, the teams. teams stop wise. comparing the teams, bro. This is Premier League, bro. Premier League. It's, it's next level. All right? Now, Chelsea are fucking rubbish. You want to smack him? Just wanna, no, no, you're comparing, guys. <laughs> you're comparing a fucking sport, a fucking champions with rugby league. Mm. So uh, rugby what league's are, a sport we fucking grew up with. That's Sorry, it, brother. That's, I, I grew up with it too, but don't compare it to Walla. When you talk about, but rugby league, if once you get into football, Walla rugby league is shit. Okay. But I can't stop watching. Animals it. Animals the game for us. Anyway, so Chelsea nil, Villa two. <laughs> um, yeah. I Wait, think we all love when Chelsea lose because of how much money they've spent. Yeah, it's um, they, can't just point, buy, they can't buy a win. At this January. point, is anyone even invested in those type of games? Bro, You're just watching the top of the ladder. And, um, for me, anyway. I'm invested, but I can't yeah. fucking stand Chelsea. Yeah, I think everyone loves when I, yeah, fuck, yeah, I love they, this yeah, Everyone likes Chelsea to lose. I it's, fucking love I'm happy that Villa won, to be honest. Bro, it's fucking fantastic. But how embarrassing. You spend how th- embarrassing. You spent 300 million in January. That's more than what teams spend in the fucking main transfer window. Two months later, you come and produce something like this. 2-0 two two to Villa. 2-0 to Villa. But let's talk about the game. I don't know if he's watched it. It was at 2.30. I didn't watch it. I watched no, the highlights after. Yeah, I wasn't going to watch it. Mudrik. All right. The <laughs> Ukrainian. Have you heard yeah. of him? Yeah, okay. So, how much is he on again? He was, no, they, oh, sorry, how was they the paid, for him? They paid more, than, uh, like more than 100 million for yeah, him. Something like, yeah. It was fucked. And he wanted, he wanted to go to Arsenal. And Arsenal, I think, were about to pay 90 million. Instead, Chelsea get him. Arsenal pick up Trossard. What a wow. signing. What a, hey, what a difference. What a what signing. A Imagine the roles were reversed. Yeah, bro. It's crazy, man, how just if it uh, worked out perfectly for Arsenal. Mm. They weaken a fucking rival and they get Trossard. Yeah. So, yeah, so Mudrik, and I think it was the fifth minute, ball forced to him from a mistake from the defence. One on one with the keeper, has uh, have a right, right next and he to goes him. For it. Just roll it to him. Shoots it straight at Emi Martinez. Shoots it straight at Emi. I'm like, bro. Casa, I hate Martinez. Uh, Martinez? He's, he's a dog. I love the shit yeah. housery, bro. He's a dog. He's honestly a dog. I love it, bro. Well, I love it. The shit house the f- just being a fuckwit. And he knows he's a fuckwit too. He looks like a fuckwit. Yeah, he knows he is, bro. He, he, he does not try to be something he's not. He fucking won like the gold. Like when go- he had that, bu- yeah, <laughs> that well, buffer picture. Yeah. That buffer picture. He put it up on Instagram. The uh, fucking, when he won the go- uh, 
goalkeeper of the tournament. Fucking. He stood there like this with it. I mean, <laughs> the, only cap, the only reason I didn't want Argentina to win, besides me being, I, I like France, was yeah. because of that worm in the box. Bro, he's, he's just a fuck with and I love it. You want yeah, Messi no, to win. Doesn't. Definitely you want Messi to win a fucking World Cup before he retires. But because of that head in the box, you don't want it to yeah, happen. Yeah, he's a fuck with and I love it. He owns it. Anyways, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's it. That was his first miss. Right, should have passed. Right, tap him. This was on the six yard box. Just pass it. Tap Have it blow up. Of course, he snapped it at him. Started screaming. Anyway, after that, I th- I can't remember who it was. I think it was um, Kovacic plays in a beautiful ball in behind the line, and he's fast, Modric. You're gonna give him something. He's very yeah. fast. Runs one on one with Martinez. Tries to go around. Him. No, bro. I wish. Wash it straight again. Wash it, bro. Shot. No, tried to curl it. Honestly, my farts come out with more power than that shot. <laughs> it was fucking so... He passed it to him. I swear I like to God. I But I swear to God, he passed it. Go watch the highlights. Go watch the highlights. He passed it to him. And I'm like, uh, fuck 100 million for what? I could do better. Wallah, I could shoot it harder than that. But it was actually embarrassing. Jesus God, he could do better. Wallah, I reckon I could well, shoot better. Those Saturday games, remember? No, yeah. What big, happened? I used to play. Big things at Liverpool Rangers. <laughs> I never played for Rangers. I played for, what's it called? Liverpool City Robins, brother. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's yeah, even that worse. Bad, yeah. What's it There was a Div 1 team and a Div 5 team. Div 5? Played for Div 5. No, uh, yeah, they're going to put you in Div 1. <laughs> you know, Are you going to be their keeper? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't good enough for that. Oh, anyway, so then... Uh, but in that game, John, John McGinn... So, Ollie Watkins scores the first fucking bad mistake. Kukurea. Wait, Watkins not too bad. Who? Watkins, no, Watkins, bro. He's a very good... For a mid-table team, he's a he very good... He finishes pretty well. Very good, very good uh, striker. Because the ball gets played over, right? And, like... So Kulabali's standing, waiting for the ball to come to him. Kukureya just comes across. Why are you talking like a whole child? Like, you know, he comes across, he headers it towards his own goal. <laughs> Who's standing behind him? Watkins. Watkins. <laughs> no, we have to watch all that. Now that's that you've told right, me that, I'm watching. It's actually a joke of a football club. Chelsea, bro, they're sitting 10th. 11th now. Yeah, it they weren't supposed They were 11th. They were 10th yesterday, yeah. That's, that's embarrassing for Chelsea. How the fuck are you 11th? You're yeah, Chelsea. And, they, and, and I, don't see, I don't see them getting any better from here. Bro, they're either. getting worse. Good. Guys, go Mate, watch. Please go think... watch that goal. He's fucking cool about He's sitting there about to header it away from the fucking, from his, his box. box. Kukre just runs across him and hits it. Goes behind him. Watkins chases it. Fucking Kepa comes out. What the fuck yeah, is he going to do? He taps the No, he ta- over him. Chips it over him. And then the it's second goal, moment. second goal straight after half time. Like that's the worst time to concede. Straight after, I think it was ten minutes after half time. John McGinn, fuck, I love John McGinn. Just the, I did my FIFA team. Just the fuck. Hey, you get, you get him with every pack you open. Yeah, 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 you do. Yeah, yeah. You do. He's just like a footballer, bro. Like he's it's going rough, two bro. feet, yeah. kill someone. I don't care. Beautiful, fucking straight into the corner from like. 30 yards out. No. Yeah, wait, it was very far. Was yeah, I'm gonna get on the toilet after the podcast. It was very nice going, Chelsea. Yeah. Man, I don't know what they need. Like, they can't sack the coach because they've invested so much into him. They need Wayne Bennett. They do, man. They need Wayne Bennett. <laughs> no, Again, but I, think, I think they know... I think, <laughs> don't start with They know this, new, this season's over. I think they know it's over. That's why everyone's just like... Bro, but they, I think uh, with the so, uh, Graham Potter, right, their coach, they signed him from Brighton. And we've seen how Brighton are going now and how they're going at the beginning of the year. They're popping off, man. They're having such a good season for a team like Brighton. But they've seen what Brighton were doing at the beginning of the year. Said, we've got to get on this now. Thomas Tuchel, they, it was it Thomas Tuchel? Yeah. He was their yeah, coach, was yeah. Right. Now he's at Bayern. So Thomas Tuchel gets sacked. They sign him straight away. I feel like he needed one more club bigger than Brighton, from smaller Brighton. than Chelsea, just to get him ready for that next level in, in coaching. No, that's true. Yeah. Because it's a big leap. What, what it's taking, massive, yeah, bro. It's you just went leap. from someone who usually they're competing for, trying to stay up relegation... So now you're high, in the, high up there. You're competing for the Premier League. Mm. It's a massive, and now massive they're not jump. Competing for it anymore? No, it? now they're, they're mid-table. They're and where br- everyone thought Brighton was going to be. I think he's a very good coach, but it's exactly like David Moyes at United. We went Moise. from we went from someone Moise. like good old Moyes. We went from someone who, Sir Alex Ferguson is the greatest of all time, bar none. Bar none. If you look at what he's done, everything he's done with the players. Look, his his his, his portfolio says it all. Exactly right. He went from we went from that to, to to David Moyes, who was Everton's coach for a very very long time, but a coach that never ever ever took that leap up, and he went sh- straight from Everton, right, who were a good team at the time, a good mid table team, to the defending champions of the Premier League, and look what happened. Yeah. Look what happened, and Chelsea are finding out the hard way. Even though I think Potter is a very good coach, I think it was just way you too much. Do you think next season will improve? 
Mm. Or do you think they need it properly? No, they have to improve. They, 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 there is no way they get worse. There's no way they stay the same. Potter is a good coach. I think with time, they'll reap the rewards from him. He's mm. a very good coach. But are they going to give him time? Chelsea is just... They have to give him time, man. You have I to. You I, don't, I don't think Chelsea will. They have Watch. to, but they can't... They, bro, they sign so dumb. I don't think it's Chelsea. It's, it's just that's, how, that's the way the game's become. Wins are so hard to come. But they are so in demand that whenever you just keep consistently losing... The fans get into an uproar, which put pressures on, put, puts pressure on the yeah. hierarchy, and they just have to get rid of the coach. That's what it is. Yeah. But but I think the fans know that they're happy with Potter. Graham Potter right now. They, they have to be. Yeah, they but so because they they're signing players just because they're the new non- shiny thing on the block. Enzo Fernandez. Sort of filling positions, probably. Yeah, Enzo Fernandez before the World Cup. You didn't know who he was. I don't know who he was. Oh, I'm saying, yeah. I, I just knew him because I packed him on FIFA once. I barely still know who he is. Yeah, okay, he had a fantastic World Cup. Hundred million. Mudrik, yeah. how'd they hear about Mudrik? Because Arsenal were linked with him. Arsenal were linked with him. Swooped in, in hundred million here, bro. Joe Felix, yeah, that. it's a loan. They paid how much? It's like 17, yeah. 18 million for yeah, a loan. It's, it's a crazy. It's embarrassing, bro. So they've she they've got a lot of things to work on. They should have went to Arsenal. Who, Joe Felix? Yeah, yeah he, he uh, yeah. So they're the games we're going to cover. United play tonight. Hopefully, Ooh, shall we win? But it's a massive, massive game against Newcastle. The winner does get, uh, move into third spot. So hopefully United win that game. Um, we good to see you happy. We'll talk to Not you. two wins. If it's two, two wins, wins bro, yeah. I feel like you. Yeah, yeah. City and the Dragons. Yeah. Well, Fantastic. We were happy then to meet in the Chai yesterday. Yeah, it was very good. It doesn't happen often. Nah, I mean, yeah. I think our producers... Hey, but I, to, I, to I was along. thinking as well, our teams never win on the same week. And it they have. It hardly happens. I can respect They have. Yeah, it hardly happens. Except for, sorry, Hennessy. Yeah, Sorry, Hennessy. Yeah, He's not going to feel it for a while. Just yeah. don't talk to him, bro. <laughs> Two and ten. <laughs> Tigers, twenty fifty. All right, so that's the sport wrap up. So we spoke about the NRL, APL. Pretty crazy week of, of uh, sport, man. What upsets this week? A lot of upsets. I loved it. I loved it too. I can say I was happy dancing. Saturday was a good day for hey, me. Hey, get over this happy dance. Saturday, honestly, Man City and the Dragons yeah. doesn't happen often. No, it doesn't. So yeah, so Man City happens often. The Dragons, mate, you got to pick your shit up. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's the wrap up in sport. You heard our thoughts on it. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in for the second episode of the Sport Pitch, Poch- uh, Sports Pitch Podcast. It's you, a tongue twister. Well, you were telling it's me. That's, 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 that's the first time it's got on me. That's the first time it's got on me. All right. Uh, we are going to make a, uh, all the questions that we got, which we thank you and appreciate a lot from everyone. We're going to do a separate video um, going through all your questions, answering them. And yeah, we hope to see you on that video as well. So we hope you guys have a great week and we'll catch you um, next week. Peace. Hey guys. Also, if you have any criticism, let us know. Thank you. Good night. He's fucked, kicked him in the face. Absolutely rough. Right.